Thank you for the 11 months, Rob. Good day everyone, hello, how are you all doing? Uh, one drunk man, hello, garlic, hello, oh, I'm almost about to go to sleep, you should go to sleep if it's too late. I don't want to keep you up for no good reason. Rob, hello, Battleship Orion, evening, evening. And thank you so much for the four months, Prime Gaming Sub, thank you. Smav, Matrix is life, thank you so much for the ten months. Red Hood, hello. Yelsu, hello, hello. UPS man, <laughs> hello. How are y'all doing? What is that board? Where can I buy it? This board? Well, you know what that board is. <laughs> well, welcome everyone. Um, hope you all had a good week. Um, it's been a I've been really busy, to be honest. Um, pretty much uh, going forward from here, at least uh, for the next month, um, I'm not sure how like how free I'm gonna be. So I'm gonna try to do like two builds, build streams a week. Um, but I'm not sure if I can do too much more than that because I just have a lot of deadlines and stuff like that going on. So yeah, just trying to fit in what I can. Um, there might be some of you who are in chat. Uh, who might be expecting a build from me anytime soon. Um, if you are, um, you can always feel free to co uh, contact me and I can always do things off stream as well. Um, that will be faster. Um, and um, yeah, so I can get back to you on builds faster if you 
don't have to wait for things on stream because obviously I don't I just don't have as much time to do things on stream all the time um, but other than that uh, things are going well for me I'm, I'm ju I've just been busy I suppose um, but yeah things are going Saturday and we're drinking tea where's the liquor uh, <laughs> when I'm on my own I actually don't drink much I actually don't drink much on my own I pretty much only drink socially at this point I think I kind of I kind of stopped drinking on my own like a while back. And I, other than like beer and wine, I don't think I've gotten back to drinking on my own like at all anymore. I don't know why. It's probably just the uh, th like the COVID thing too, because you know you drink less often and all that kind of stuff. And then I kind of stopped. Uh, kind of stopped drinking overall. <laughs> well, not as much anyway. But yeah, yeah. So this is a matcha and mint tea. Um, gotta get this man soju. Oh my god, soju gets me hammered really fast, and also it hits me really badly on the next day. The the hangover for soju is brutal. Um, but uh, Artia XXX, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, Prime Gaming sub, thank you. OZ, how are you doing today? Have you packaged my arts yet? If not, you can show them off. I want to see them more. I want to see more of them. I already packaged them. Yeah, uh, I'm just waiting to drop them off on on Monday. Uh, favorite soju flavors. Uh, I like regular. I like lychee soju, and um, I like uh, like you know like Yakult. Yakult soju, like Yakult mixed with soju is really good. Or like Milkis soju is really good. Um, what else? Uh, watermelon soju is really good. Um, pretty much a lot of the fruits, like a lot of sweet, watery fruits, uh, tend to be pretty good with soju. They tend to mix really well. Um, so th those are probably it, um, uh, or, or like the more like milky sort of like uh, soft drinks. Those mil mix really well with soju. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Um, oh, so first of all, today uh, I wanted to um, unbox uh, one thing here. So I got a package from Novel Keys, a surprise package from Novel Keys. Um, I didn't order this, I think. So we're gonna unbox this guy. Where's my, where's my knife though? I think I know what it is. So. Let's, let's unbox this. I do think it is what it is. Okay. We have a novel key sticker and a novel keys bag. We have Mr. Gatoron joining the team of Lightning Keyboards. Welcome, Mr. Gatoron. Yay, everyone clap. For the for for Gatorons joining the team. Uh, from Novel Keys headquarters in West Virginia, all the way to Lightning Keyboards HQ here in New York City. Look at this cutie. Hello. Gatoron, welcome, welcome, Gatoron to the stream. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> JD has a friend now. Indeed. Hug JD. Wow. Well, one Drunkman, you actually accumulated points really quickly, or did I not redeem your last one? I feel like I feel like it hasn't been that long since uh, I redeemed the last one from you, but maybe it was somebody else though. Oh, that was a fast accumulation of points. But yeah, sure, let's bring JD into the, into the frame. K 
can we have a group shot? Yeah, of course. Uh, let's see. All right. So here's JD. Say hi, JD. Hello. Hello, says JD. JD's doing well. Uh, he's been a good boy. He's been uh, very supportive. And um, he's been a very supportive guy uh, through my busy times these days. Um, and yeah, and let's let's put uh, Gatoron joining the team. Wait, hold up. How do I how do I make this? Uh, how do I make this work? Let's see. I think this works. Look at look at the team here. Ron and JD, new homies. Let's go. Good boys. Huh? Look at this hat. It's so cute. I love this Ron hat. <laughs> It's so adorable. But yeah. JD has a friend now. Ron has a new friend now. They're both now friends. Good good guys. Clap 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 clap. He likes the sticker too. Looks good? I think so. Hey, let's go. This is a nice bag actually. This this could actually fit a keyboard. Um I, I would I would actually pad this up. This 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 blue bag actually would fit us like a 65% maybe. Actually it would fit a TKL even, but it's too it's too light for that, so I would probably like put some Put a new bag, like, and then like put inside a bag, and then put it in inside of this uh, drawstring bag. Pretty cool. All right, let's put it away. My keycaps got stuck in canal. What do you mean canal? What canal? But yes, um, I actually know who sent the Gatoron um, last stream. Someone alluded to it, uh, and that was um, oh the canal, oh Suez Canal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I know what you mean. The boats. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know about that. Um, anyway, so I want to thank uh, Mr. Obsidian Raid if he is out there. Um, I'm not sure if he's currently. Uh, watching I don't think he is but thank you obsidian raid for sending Gatoron uh, really appreciate it uh, obsidian just wanted to see a new friend I suppose for for JD and so uh, it's really really kind of him to send this new homie um but yeah the Suez Canal stuff is a uh, pretty wild huh so how long do you think it's gonna even take for them to dislodge that uh, boat like I don't even understand how it even happened I read a little bit about it, but it wasn't like I didn't I, I, I didn't get too interested in it. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Contra, thank you for passing it along. Boink the lightning keyboards. You are streaming always so late. Glad to see you today. Is it is it late today? It's not. Oh wait. Oh well. I guess if you're in Europe, it is late. Uh, it's gonna be like eleven. I mean, like probably like close to midnight or even later. I just bought Gatoron. Very nice. If you use the promo code Thunder, you could get five percent off. By the way. But yeah, today is an early stream. Today is an early stream for a for a, for, a, for my new for my usual schedule. <laughs> um, Twenty two forty four. I see five hour difference, huh? Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm in I'm in I'm in the like we're in um we just moved from daylight savings. I mean we're moved to daylight savings anyway. Yeah, and um. We're gonna get started with the build, but uh, yeah, so I'm in the East Coast in the US, so we're at a five hour difference. Bro, it's late 3 a.m. You shouldn't stay up, garlic. I mean, well, I guess it is a Sunday for you, but still, don't, don't stay up if you don't have to. We have a bunch of materials here. Um, you got some Crytox. You got some extra switches. Okay. We got some stabs. I think these are Durox stabs. We have our switches. 
and we have some captain tape uh, for the isolating the daughter board that's inside of the matrix. This is going to be useful in a bit, so we're going to keep it aside for now. So, alright, so we can put these aside for now. And so, okay, so let's unbox this matrix. Um, so there's nothing in here. Um, when you open it up, is this board silver and blue? I believe not. What do you think about the Thermal Plus? I mean, I like the Thermal a lot, uh, Spy Guy 13. So I personally would say that the Thermal Plus uh, is going to be very nice because it's pretty much just like the Thermal uh, as far as the concept of it goes. And um, it's a 65%. So if you're into 65%, then it's probably for you. Um, so we have a postcard here from Matrix. Uh, pretty cool. Um, including a postcard is kind of like, I haven't seen that often actually. So this is kind of nice, nice, nice little print way of providing a print of the Matrix 2.0. And then we have a piece of foam. And then we have our PCB. So we have our PCB, red PCB. Um, so let's take it out. So a red PCB, um, if you can see here, it has this uh, M2 slot, which is very interesting. And then it has two slots for the daughter boards, one's for the LED driver and one's for the daughter board driver, uh, for, the, uh, for the daughter board side of things. And then here's a microcontroller over here. Um, and uh, yeah, so pretty interesting. Uh, Red PCB uh, has support for ISO and step caps lock and uh, no split backspace, which is good because split backspace does not belong on TKL. No split right shift, which is also good in my opinion. I don't split right shift on TKL anyway, but uh, some people do, but it's kind of cursed to be honest. Um, well, anyway, pretty nice. Uh, no LED support, it seems. Uh, just LEDs on indicators like scroll lock and caps lock. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, it says here Matrix Lab. And here we have like a plate foam sort of thing. I know that this has a little wrapper on top. We can actually remove this. Um, but anyway, this is like plate foam. Uh, it's not plate foam. It's not even, is it foam? It's like silicone actually. It's more like a silicone thing. Um, it's, it's like a silicone thing. Basically it looks like this. Uh, you can ignore the wrapper because it's just protective layer. Uh, but yeah, it's silicone rubber. Um, so yeah, um, cool. Uh, we're not gonna use it today though actually. Um, it's kind of too stiff I think. It's gonna stiffen up the typing a lot if we use this. So we're not gonna use it um, just for uh, but, it's, but it's here, just just in case you wanted to um, know what's what, know what it looks like. New meta is using full backspace on TKL, but still using backspace on pipe. Yeah, you can do that. I actually know a number of friends who actually do that do that, do exactly what Geister just said. Um, they will use a split backspace on the pipe while still keeping the. Uh, full backspace as a looker sort of thing, uh, which is actually kind of a pretty good idea. I mean, in general, like you actually don't even need the extra key that comes from split backspace, mainly because um, the pipe is already there, and you also like you can put the pipe up here, or you know you can map it wherever, or, like wh like wherever you want. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and then here we have an accessories box. So let's take a look. Actually, this is my first time unboxing on ADX 2.0 ADD. Um, I've only seen like uh, other people build it, um, so it's my first time looking at it. Looks pretty hard, yeah, yeah, it does look pretty hard. Um, do you like silicone and keyboards over foam if you use one? I actually don't use. I prefer not to use any material if possible. Persian. I actually try to keep keep it like without any of those like extra materials first, and then if if I feel like it would benefit from it, then I use it. Uh, but otherwise, I try to keep it without it. Uh, we have some stickers, kind of. It's like neat, neat like icon sort of stickers. Kind of neat. Um, looks like this is upside down, rotated. Yeah, so we have some little bonbon looking stickers. Um, I, I don't think we're going to use them today, but pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of a extra little touch that I personally am I'm, I'm not like... Like, I, I don't really care too much about, but I mean, it's kind of neat if you like extra little swag and stuff. These bags are a little tight though, which is something that I just realizing. Okay. 
Okay, we have some stickers. Uh, we have some screws, I believe, for the daughter board and a few other things. Extra screws, maybe. Little extra screws. We have a M2 daughter board sort of thing here. Uh, so I I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, I still don't know what this is for. Maybe this is part of the for the output, but basically we have this cool looking. Oh, come on, focus. We have this cool looking M2 daughter board. Uh, I actually don't know what this control is for, but here it is. Come on, focus. Uh, I could look up the the serial for this. Oh wait, it's an STM chip. Huh. So maybe this does control the keyboard. I mean, like this the, this is for the keyboard input? I'm not sure. Cool though. Um, anyway, so a little M2 chip. It looks like it is though. It looks like you need this to be able to use a keyboard, so. Um, interesting. Those are extra feet? Oh, okay, okay, those are extra feet. Hey, DZ Slasher, hello. I think it's a main controller, actually. Yeah, I think so, too. Goodbye, AdMega, you had your day. STMs are nice, but STM currently are kind of out of stock everywhere, actually. I'm not sure if you have... I mean, if you're into PCB stuff, you actually would know, but... Uh, basically, STM chips right now are, like, out of stock everywhere. Uh, where the, the supply is pretty low. Um, so, AdMega... We, we might still be using AdMega for a while. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, and, and the price are going up. So here are some daughter board cables, JST cables. Uh, three of them, I think it's two and then one extra. We'll be using those later on today. Actually, we're, we're going to have to test it, so we're going to use it right away. And then... Here's the board. Nothing else, just foam. Open it up. Yesterday I posted my first interest check thread in GK or in GCAC, I assume, by asking an SMH and it was incomplete. Oh, damn. It happens, but I mean, it's okay as long as you add the information arc, it's gonna be okay. So here's our board. Um, it has the like internal foam looking thing. We're gonna remove it. Obviously, that's why it looks like, like that, but it's a removable piece of plastic basically. Um, but yeah, here's a, it's like a Cerakote white cream sort of color. Very nice looking color. Uh, perfect for beige and uh, other light key sets, in my, I'm, I'm assuming. And oh, look at that beautiful brass and aluminum blue. Aluminum, why is it blue? Yeah, it's like blue aluminum anodized um, piece here, accent. Gorgeous. That looks really nice. Um, and the usual back weight that says part by matrix uh, accent piece. This time we have a daughter daughter board with a USB-C connector, which is awesome. No fixed connectors on matrix boards now. Uh, that's actually super sweet. I personally really like that change. Um, overall, the seams completely seamless. Like I mean, like you can barely feel the seam here. Um, the this this is like this is so nice. Like, this is Cerakota too? Um, my goodness. This is so nice. Oh my god. Um, so let me actually try to zoom in on this, but... Ho, ho, ho. Look, look at this. Look at this line. I can barely, like, I cannot feel a thing here. This is... This is nice. Hoo -hoo. Like, look at them perfectly matched, top and bottom. <sighs> so good. The alignment is perfect on it. Again, here is the back piece and the bottom piece. Um, yeah, looking really good. Looking really, really good. I'm uh, very excited to build this actually. Uh, now that I've seen it in person, it's like very lovely. Uh, aluminum plate, uh, kind of like a silver slash grayish aluminum plate. Um, has support for ISO and all the other uh, parts of the layout that I said. Kind of weird. Uh, the bottom row is kind of 
opened but that's okay not a problem really because pcv mount switches will do the job let's open up everything's out of stock add mega just lots of leftovers yeah pretty much yeah i know that the uh like there so, someone was talking about the car industry i think i think there are like plants closing and stuff for for microcontrollers anyway so we have some M3 screws, I believe. Hey, Tony, what's up, dude? How are you doing? What? When was the group buy for this? It was uh, like summer of last year i think in china it was china only uh there was a group buy for it in china uh like summer of last year or even before like slightly before that and then it's still not done actually um i know that for a fact because i actually uh picked up a unit um from somebody else uh, i picked up a silver unit but it it basically uh is still pending um like uh, silver is uh, like the last in the batch and they basically shifted all of these orders into their Christmas edition ones, and I don't want the Christmas edition one, I want the original ADD. And so I'm still waiting after... It was supposed to deliver like in November or something, or October even, but uh, it's, you know, April and I'm still waiting. So... Um, so there's that um, for, for the status of orders, I think. That's kind of like where we are. Trade the X-Max for my no normal silver? Uh, I'm good. I don't want to bother. And I actually don't like the X-Max one as much. I don't want a Christmas edition board. Like, because it's kind of circumstantial. It's, it's cool. The decorations are nice, but I like the I like the original look better, actually. It was near spring 2020. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, so here's the back. Um, here's the bottom piece. There is our daughter board with the JST cable. And the back weight is supported by, I think, three screws. Looks like this, this, and this are pretty much holding the weight down here. Um, and then the other pieces are supported by screws that are in between. Pretty nice. Um, it just says 8XV 2.0 additional. And uh, the daughter board's uh, fixed by two different screws here, two Phillips screws here at the corners. Um, cool. Um, and that's the USB-C connector. You have the cat lamp? I do. Hey, Awkward Gamer, how are you? Them chips are killing us at Ford. Oh, I see. You work at Ford. Alright, so let's, uh, let's check out this uh, little foam piece. So this foam piece has this protective plastic on. You can just remove it. Um, so we're going to remove it right now. We're going to be using it. Um, at some point, so just gonna remove this plastic. All right, so that's gone, and it looks like there's some perforations here, we can, which we can also remove for the letters. So that it spells the Matrix Lab, basically. Uh, all right, cool. So it basically spells Matrix Lab like that. It's just a little silicone rubber sort of thing too. Uh, basically goes underneath in the case if you wanted to add a bit more um, case filling material on the interior. Um, that's pretty much the purpose of it. Do Ramas usually take a year to ship? Um, I would say so because uh, Spy Guy, because uh, a lot of Rama Works releases are unlimited group buys and so unlimited pre-orders and so basically um, because there's a lot of units, um, you should expect that it's going to take a long while to produce them just because there's quite a lot of them to make. So yeah, I would say so. I would say that Rama Works releases are, are often just going to take like... Um, like a year or maybe a little less but um yeah i think a year is a good estimate just because 
um, of the way things go in production. There's always like there always can be delays and such. So, and so here is our plate. It's a top mount piece uh, supported by eight screws for the top. Um, there's the LED daughter board over there on the left side for your screen, uh, on the right side from the top. Uh, just an aluminum plate, pretty standard. Um, but yeah, supported by these small uh, M2 screws, um, which are Phillips. So let's see. I saw pics of the Oreo 2.0 ADD, which looks super sick. Oreo, I assume, is just like black and white or cream and white or something. Cookies and cream sort of color, right? I work at Micro Center and the lines for graphic cards have been waxed. Speaking of chips, I mean, I'm sure, yeah. M65 did too. M65, I, w I still would consider M65 a whole separate. Uh, I pretty much do have divorced M65A. Oh, I see. M65B though. Okay, M65B is just shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So M65B is like 99% shipped or something like that. I, I saw from the last uh, RamaWorks update, which, yeah, probably makes it about a year uh, since it uh, ran, or over a year rather. Um, but I mean, I would say that anything that ran in late 2019 or early 2020, you can pretty much, you have to sort of give it like the benefit of the doubt or slash like you have to kind of give it some leeway because you like, yeah, COVID's a, a real thing. It kills a lot of people. It still is killing a lot of people and uh, production pretty much halted for a long time. Um, and even, even in getting back to production, it's been the process. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, people are being ungrateful for thinking that production should be happening even when COVID's still happening because you know these people are risking their lives to make this like to make the economy still roll um you know like roll the ball and so i i personally think people are super entitled to even think that production should even still be happening during COVID. so yeah <laughs> uh anyway here's the aluminum plate pretty standard standard thickness nice and straight Let's uh, put some of this stuff away. We're gonna have to test the PCB though. Um, and then here's the top piece. Pretty standard. No blemishes that I see. Uh, maybe some minor blemishes near the screw holes for the top mount, but it's re actually very minor. Barely see it. If you want a GPU or a CPU, it's a bad time for one, yeah. Do you know when tiny invoices are out? No, I don't. Actually, uh, usually it takes a while though. I would say that for uh, tiny makes things invoices, she usually takes a day or two. 7V stock on the ship? F, indeed. Can't decide on waiting for Thermal Plus or a Clavier Alice, which is still in the stock. Uh. Well, uh, if you're going to decide for a Thermal Plus, just know that you're going to be waiting for a while. So, yeah. Going to be removing this uh, for now, just because I'm going to test things around. Um, okay, so here is the insert for the um, ADD, LED. Uh, here is the insert. Basically, it goes in like that, upside down. It's a two-part thing, I think, but I think it's actually... Oh, no, it's like a silicone piece holding it together, so I'm just going to leave it like this, but it's a one-piece thing, basically. Uh, so just gonna put it back in. Okay, cool. Um, so let's test the PCB first. Actually, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna just put this link away. Oh, let me actually remove the daughter board too while I'm at it. Gonna test everything independently from each other. Daughter board's a nice, like, uh, it's an interesting shape. It's a perfectly fitted for that slot that is in the bottom piece, so that's kind of neat. Just hold by uh, held by two screws, 
and there's a JST connector and a USB-C port with some uh, resistors and capacitors for um, protection. Okay, so let's see. Just gotta put the screws here just so I don't lose them. Okay, so let's put this away for, or to the side for now. All right. Okay, plate two. I need it. So we're gonna test this out first. Um, so I believe that all I need to do is plug this guy in first. I think this is the main controller actually now that I am looking at it. I think this is the main controller on the M2 thing here. Um, so let's test it out. Uh, where's my JST connectors? Here they are. All right, sorry. Um, I'm like trying to keep up with chat. Let's see. Some people might get mad if you tell them a pandemic's still happening. Let them get mad, I don't care. They can get mad, I don't care if they get mad. Refusing to refusing to accept reality and getting mad over it is, is silly. So yeah. Completely understand it takes long just no to hobby and the way this all works. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely spy guy. I'm I'm glad you're uh, being understanding still. Uh, what are the chances of getting selected in one of the key cult raffles? Uh small. Small, very small. CPUs are fine now though? I don't think so. I think CPUs are still kinda difficult, right? To get some of them. I mean, I don't. I, I haven't been trying myself, so I don't really know. I just know that other people have been struggling. Would you guys in chat rather get a thermal or a clavier? Alice, I would get a thermal personally. Uh, F thirteen or standard? I prefer standard. Still waiting on my Alpine sixty five. Blah blah blah. Are you planning on buying GMK Red Alert? Yes, I am getting GMK Red Alert. Absolutely getting GMK Red Alert. Uh, that's a no brainer purchase for me because I love. I love the colorway. Is there a KK raffle up now or have or something? KK? What, what do you mean KK? Key Collective? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, luckily, Switch Couture has some PCBs. Uh, never owned a Rama, so I feel like I need to go for a thermal. Uh, the thermal is a design by uh, Wilbatech. Uh, it's not a design by Rama Works. Rama Works is simply hosting the sale. In, in other words, Rama Works is the vendor for Wilba Tech's um, thermal, but the designer is Wilba. Um, the design is all done by Wilba. Um, it's simply it's simply that all the uh, vendoring part of it is is going through Rama Works. So there's that. Kiko raffle or Booper raffle? Which one? Uh, both are just as bad in terms of uh, chances. All right, so plug this guy in. So always test your PCBs before you even start a build uh, is what I always advise. Uh, you never know when things are not gonna work. If things don't work right now, then I have to stop the stream or build something else. Um, so, but it's better to do that early on than later, so we're gonna test this out first. Let's get my cable here. Okay, things are lighting up. What's that drink? It's uh, some matcha and mint green tea. It's just tea. Here it is lighting up, it lit up, which is a good sign. Uh, it means things are at least working. I definitely heard the sound. Um, I actually don't know. Does the Matrix 8, 8X V 2.0 have QMK able for it? I believe it does. So I'm going to just check Via's website in case it, we have a firmware for it. I guess. I'm not sure. Was it full at first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was full at first. 
Don't forget Wob Shine Through though. Yeah, Wob Shine Through. Um, please consider supporting Wob Shine Through. Um, I was actually uh talking to a friend earlier uh, yesterday, um, expressing a bit of my frustrations as to the community being rather silent on AAPI uh, hate crimes uh, that has been going in the in the United States for the most part, uh, but obviously stemmed from COVID. Um, but uh. I have had some frustrations over how radio silent it's been relatively in a lot of community, but yeah, consider supporting uh, Wob Shine through um, ho um, Hoodrow uh, Thrillson. He's uh, planning to uh, contribute some funds towards uh, um, stop AAPI hate, basically, um, and uh, I think that's a really good cause. And personally, I'm I feel affected by it, and so I personally would support it. Uh, for that reason, and obviously because it's a great, um, it, it's an, it's a, you know, it's a great little kit as well for white and black. What kits for red alert? Uh, at least the base kit and the extension kit probably, at least. Yeah. What proxy are you getting it through? Uh, you, you mean GMK red alert? Uh, I'll, I'll be getting it through the main vendor. I don't mind. I know they're new and all, but, uh, I would rather get... Uh, things through like North American vendors just easier I'm sad they didn't bring back the red for thermal arc keeps so the red actually was not gonna be brought back anyway it was actually said at the very beginning of thermal round one that halt was gonna be a one-time sort of thing so Diego would you like a green 2.0 ADD uh, I already have a silver one, uh, on, like, I'm waiting for a silver one, so, so, probably not. Well, green is great, though. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't want to get two of the same board. Alright, so let's just test the PCB anyway. Um, I'm gonna open up the switch tester. Okay. But thanks for the info, Mart, on the QMK VIA situation. I don't know. Um, but that's cool. Uh, maybe someone will port it to VIA, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody already is going to do that soon. Whether it's Merc Merlin or anybody else who is well versed. Well, actually, you don't even have to be well versed. I actually have ported. Uh, I ported the I ported the HHKB Hasu controller to VIA as well as the GH60 Revision C PCB because I have a few of those. Um, I have a few of those boards, um, and um, you know, I I wanted to port them to Q, uh, to VIA because I you know I wanted to just use VIA. It's just so so nice and resourceful. So yeah. Okay, looks like everything's gonna work here, but better test everything just in case. I know I'm missing the one key. Let's see. I wasn't in the hobby for Thermal R1 SMH, yeah. I actually didn't go in on Thermal R1 because at the, at the time I actually bought mine like afterwards. Um, because I was out of funds basically, I just didn't have the cash to buy it at the time, but yeah. Um, anybody getting to, getting, going to get a Helix Lab? What's your favorite set that you own currently? Uh, the set that I, my favorite set, one of my favorite sets of all time is the one that's currently on my keyboard. It's probably my favorite set of all time in many ways. Um, other than that, uh, I really like, um, I really like all the classic stuff, so like beige, uh, white on black, and um, dolch. But I also really enjoy. Um, I also really enjoy. Um, what's that? Uh, what's that called? Um, like Honeywell. Uh, I like. Um, I like Taro a lot. Uh, there's a bunch of other sets that I like. Um, like I like Serica quite a bit. Um, 
yeah, Hyperfuse Round 2, the earlier on ones. Uh, I also like Hyperfuse Origins, actually, uh, a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of sets that I like, but uh, I can't, I can't like... Muted Muted's a good one, too. Do you have any recommended stores in the New York City area? That Rian or Cerakote keyboards? Not in New York City, no. I think there is a lot more in Pennsylvania uh, than, in New than in New York State for, for that. You can also go to CTNO, yeah, which is, well, in CT in Connecticut. Uh, so that's another option. Uh, CTNO has been known to be doing the key called anodization. So if you've seen the recent key called stuff, uh, they do the anodizing for that. Um, and they've been definitely getting a lot of business for, for keyboards now because obviously it's an alternative to using, say, uh, using like a caustic customs anodizing, which uh, who do like other things like paintball guns and whatnot. So, all right, so keyboard is working. Oh, I forgot to test the number one key. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, everything works good. So we can just unplug it and put these aside for now. All right, so we're good here. Uh, I also am gonna have to take out the M2 thing here. Side, um, okay, lube. Okay, great. All right, let's get started. <sighs> I wasn't sure if they did single boards. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you, maybe you, I'll just have to contact them to see what what they do. So I, I don't know what their policy is. Um, obviously, I haven't personally reached out or anything. So you'll have to reach out on your own and see what what they do with their with boards. Kind Ion, thank you so much for the tier one, my friend. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. If it's Q, it can be ported typically assuming it's standard controller. Yeah, I think it can be. So, Not sure if it's possible since after you compile the hex, you drop it like a bin. Hmm. 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 Probably because of the way that daughter board thing works, huh? Did CRPR4 GB start in North America? No, not yet. Not yet. What about muted retro? What's muted retro again? Sorry, what's muted retro? Let's see, what's, what the hell is muted retro? Muted retro on originative. Uh, text mods, no. Uh, I mean, it looks cool, has a lot of compatibility. Basically, it looks like Mr. Sleeves accents, but text mods. Are those centered icons? Oh, uh, no. I don't like it. One hundred and fifty dollars, and then one hundred and sixty-five for the bundle with the accents. Man, SMH. Uh, I'm good. No, I don't like it. Especially the text mods. I think the text mods look like look terrible on on GMK. Welcome, Lightning. Thanks for all the awesome builds and knowledge. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see. So we need one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we were gonna use all of them. Okay. Just need to separate them all. We're gonna loop all of these with 205 grade zero today. Um, no XHTBDZ just because it's easier. That way. And 205 works pretty well for me, so. Alright, let's get started. Funzy, hello, how are you? 
Sherry doing Sherry things indeed. This is a very typical uh, originative co move where they put something up and it's kind of not with the times sometimes or oftentimes. I still don't understand it quite. It is what it is though. Hmm, interesting. Does this fit? No. Okay. Does this fit? No. Okay. Um. Like, like they recently uh, published an Instagram post uh, saying like um, that they're gonna be dropping the exempt uh, extras, basically, uh, which is basically the the stuff that they picked up because the group buy was kind of a failure, or well, not a failure, but like it was a mess. Uh, the original group buy runner kind of dipped out of the scene, and so UT and Originative picked up the slack on that. And uh, obviously, Originative has a bunch of units still sitting in their storage, but they've been sitting for like three years. So it's kind of weird that they call it a launch as if it were new, but it's not. It's really a sell, sale of extras. We'll see what pricing they put on it because I bet they're going to price it up quite a bit. Just like the TM 1.5 um, Janes. So I'm kind of uh, skeptical of it right now. Mat Matrix has very low compatibility and that sucks IMO. What, what low compatibility though? Like what do you mean by low compatibility specifically? Looks like Matrix 2.0 ADD compiles fine when adding via compat. Cool, that's good to know. What set? What do you mean what set? What set what? I'm weird like doing split right shift and split backspace even on TKL. Oh well, I see. <laughs> well, if that's the case then yeah, sure it's kind of limited for you. Yeah, I don't I don't do it so that's probably why, but um I personally feel like if you're going to be using TKL though and you're going to be using split backspace and split right shift, it's like isn't it better just to use a different layout altogether? <laughs> like a 65 or a 75. It has pretty much everything. I mean, a seventy five pretty much has pretty much has everything that a TKL has, uh, just different look to it. But yeah, curse TKL layout gang. <laughs> One drunk man says, Mister Lightning, can you tell us more about the poll you put up in Discord announcements this week? Yeah, sure. Um, I can. Uh, one drunk man. Um, I was debating between a uh, silver or black for a choice of a keyboard. Uh, so that's pretty much what it is. I actually was already leaning towards silver anyway, uh, because it's my choice of preference between silver and black overall, and also because I actually do own other black keyboards. So I kind of, I mean, I own both silver and black really, but silver is my preference overall anyway. Um, goes better with a lot of sets that I do own. Um, so there's that, um, uh, but yeah, I was just, I was just pulling out of curiosity really. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's all just out of curiosity what people thought. Sometimes I'll put up polls like that just to see like what people think at, the t at, the, at a given point in time, because it kind of seems to change. Um, although the silver and black debate will probably go on forever. So. Very interesting, all the split shaming in the preference hobby. I mean, silly pairs. I, I think, uh, I think it's, I, I, again, it's a preference thing. So it's, I, I'm just, um, I'm not really shaming anybody. I think it's, I think it's like, whatever. It's like, you can split if you want, but people are, people, people can be more vocal than others about it, uh, specifically with regards to how they phrase things. Phrasing matters after all. It's like, yeah, you can split if you want. But in my opinion, I think it just doesn't look great. But typing-wise, it's pretty much the same thing. 
It's like whether you use full backspace or not, it's like about the same. Slight shift and um no pun intended in hand movement. Let's see, I just like extra keys. Uh, got a white 2.0 ADD, and today's more beige than anything. I think it'll match nicely with GMK Beta. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so the one we have here today is also, uh, it's like off-white cream sort of color. Um, and it'll look great with beige sets, I think. God forbid you use Mod Piper Mod <laughs> A little shaming is fun, just a little. I guess so. What are your thoughts on GMMK Pro? Um... I don't make my bed, so my thoughts on GMMK Pro are just about as good as any viewer uh, of like the people, the reviews that have been out there. So I will simply suggest you to go and watch the reviews and viewpoints that people have put up already. There's a lot of content creators out there that have made statements and reviews on prototype units that they've been or actually production units basically or prototype units really I guess that they've been sent to review and you know talk about so just go and check those out I mean they're there for a reason I haven't been sent one I did not do a glorious GMK Pro review or anything so I don't have an opinion of it my opinion is about as good as any other viewers it's like what whatever these people say is kind of like I'll kind of go with it I, I think it's a good choice for uh for that price point, like it's a very competitive price for a 75% layout board with, you know, whatever different features they um, are are um, trying to promote. So yeah, that's all. I mean, it's competitive pricing for for a keyboard that that's made of out of aluminum and has programmability, RGB, all that crap. Um, and yeah, it's like your choice if you like that and uh, go from there. But other than that, I don't have any other thoughts on it. Not specifically, anyway. What desk mat are you using? Uh, the desk mat I'm using is a uh, is uh, the Cult Worship Caps uh, desk mat. It was uh, kind of like a fan-produced desk mat by Shuang Mu. Uh, he did a small group buy run um, a few months ago. Or actually, like a month, two months ago, maybe. Um, and uh, it was a small, limited run. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll be doing any more of them, but uh, they're out there. You can probably purchase one in the aftermarket. They were uh, just for your reference. They were fifty dollars shipped from uh, China, and um, actually, fifty dollars shipped for this Desma is not bad considering it shipped from all the way from China and shipped it with like an express, um, like shipping method. So, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's inspired by a, an artisan maker's artwork, basically. It's it's an artisan maker's artwork in a collage form. That's basically what it is. Hope you put a beige sand on it so I can get a taste of what it might look like on mine. Sure, we could we could probably we will probably do that today. Pipe is not a mocking or is Tilda at me all you want, chat. <laughs> Jim K Pro is so damn controversial. I don't I don't even I personally I I. I watch the different reviews people have put up. I watch whatever people have to say about it. And I personally don't think it's controversial other than the fact that the PR side of things, the way GM uh, Glory is my bad, handled the PR side of things for the for, for the release slash like uh, different media that they put up was poorly done. <laughs> um, like like the whole like closing comments, deleting comments, kind of like like basically like a form of not censorship but like a form of like you know pruning opinions. Like that's kind of silly. Like that's just a bad PR move. If some people disagree, you just have to let them voice it out. Um, so yeah, that was just just a bad move on their PR side. Um, yeah, you gotta you gotta blame their marketing team for that. Um, and social media team or whatever. But I think the board itself, though, it looks pretty solid for the price. I mean, like, looks like, like I like watch Alex's stream. I like saw bits and pieces of other people's. Uh, I like watch all of Nathan's video, uh, and yeah, it looks it looks all right for the price. I mean, it looks pretty 
decent quality and like it looks it looks pretty good it has all the features you would ask for a keyboard of at that end uh it's aluminum Kim, i mean not Kim K, but uh i mean yeah it's gonna be Kim K and be a compatible eventually and um it's programmable has rgb is hot swap has these gaskets and all that stuff comes in two pretty standard colors basically silver and black so yeah it's, it, at, the, at the price it's damn good it's damn good at the price uh, i think the only other keyboard that competes at the same price at the same with the same with a similar layout is the kbd 75 or like the idle bow stuff uh, which is t which which is like around that price point, but there really isn't too much at that price range, and they're they've really uh, they've uh, they really kind of like they in a way cut some corners, but uh, otherwise still did a pretty good job of of releasing something that seems uh, really really good for the price. Like for example, like one of the quote unquote cor corners that they cut was that instead of um, milling out the uh aluminum plate they use a punch for the uh the plate cutouts so but that still works because like i mean the the people who did the review units uh they didn't have issues with putting switches in so yeah it's good it's good glorious did some shady advertising but but then again Glorious and advertising, they, they, they've had some issues with that before. You gonna be building the Jelly Epoch? Uh, no. I haven't been told or sent a request to build one, so no. People are less, le definitely less gatekeeper-ish with GMK Pro, so just wondering how it got accepted. It's great for its price. Yeah, I do agree with that. Texture and the mass, so good. Yeah, the texture on these uh, strong move mats is very, it's like slightly rough. It's like people will say like, "Oh, you can't game on these," but um, it's it's really good though. <laughs> it's it's actually okay. I think if you have a light enough mouse, I don't think it matters too much. But then again, I don't game as much as other people do, so I personally don't have the sensitivity for it. Like I'm not as sensitive to these like texture changes and whatnot. So when people ask me that kind of stuff, it's like, "Oh, can you use this desk map for gaming?" I'm like, "Yeah." Can you use this keyboard for gaming? Yeah. Can you use this mouse for gaming? Yeah, you can use any mouse for gaming. I don't I don't care. Uh, then again, yeah, blaming your desk mat or like any of your accessories for gaming is is kind of silly. You just need to get good. Like if you're maybe if you're at the pro level and you're like actually like arguing little things then fight fair. Like if that minuscule amount of difference makes a difference in your performance, sure, but uh, if you're an amateur and thinking that your keyboard or your mouse or your whatever is gonna make leaps in your gaming ability, it's totally false. You just need to get good. Um, that's that's really what that's the reality of gaming is. Yeah, you you either have the skill or you don't. You either suck at it or you're good at it, or you're just average, and that's fine. You're just not a pro. No tray for that lubing. That this that pretty that's why it's gonna stain. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm okay with no tray. I'm, I'm like holding in my hand, so that's fine. Let's see. Casket implementation. They some squashed boys. I actually didn't uh, check that very specifically. Some ridicule in your goat stabs. Yeah, the goat stabs are not too good, it looked like. APL on this, that would look good. Um, Lana, that's a good choice, actually. I think my APL is on a different board, but I'll just have to go get it. Let's see. What deathmat is that? This is the KWK deathmat. Uh, just like that. Cult Worship Caps deathmat or KWK deathmat. If you are gaming gaming, then you aren't going to be using a deathmat anyway. Also kind of true. Or you could use a desk mat, but uh, you know, just a standard one is fine. Most people are not at the level that needs gears to improve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I blame my switches don't register fast enough. Uh, what's the next TKL that you're getting? What's the next TKL that I'm getting? Um, oh, oh, oh man, I forgot. Um, I actually got a uh, prototype unit for a TKL 
um, that uh, I've been asked to build. I'm going to show it to you guys briefly, um, but the build stream is not going to be until maybe next week or the week after. I actually need to look up my schedule again. Um, I'll be honest right now, I'm, I'm just really busy these days. Like I barely have time for personal stuff, N like not even like build stream stuff like right now I'm just slammed with work and so even just squeezing in two builds right now like uh, like two build streams a week has been a bit of a challenge I, I like feel extra guilty because I need to get a lot of work done so um but yeah I have I have something new uh or rather kind of interesting looking that I can show you guys in just a bit I'll show you after I'm done lubing the housings for these stabs But it's a TKL that uh, actually I think the group buy already and might have ended uh, not long ago. But it's something that I actually kind of wanted to see in person. So uh, and I was fortunate to um, be reached out to to check it out. So we'll take a look at it shortly. Does the TKL come with an N NFT? <laughs> no. I don't even understand NFTs enough to feel. Uh, to feel comfortable dealing with them. <laughs> Blame my mouse, had to get a new one. Imagine after three years it breaks. Three years is quite a long time, isn't it? For devices, for, uh, I mean, I feel like mice, three years is actually quite a decent amount of time, right? I don't know what mice lifetime looks like these days, but I mean, I've had a, I mean, I since I don't game as much, I actually also don't know, but I feel like if you're not gaming much and it lasts you three years, it's already long. Then if you're gaming, which means you're using your mouse quite a lot, three years is a long time for it, right? NFT sound like the most useless thing ever. It's a bit silly, but I mean, it's a it's a form of uh, distributing digital work. But yeah. I personally don't need to get into the, this discussion because I actually just don't know much about it. Y'all can feel free to discuss it in chat, but I personally don't have a stake on it. Kind of interesting frog TKL. Yes, so teaser Lana, I'll be teasing the board or really just showing you what it looks like. Uh, but I'll be um, actually building it and showing more details of it uh, on the build stream itself. Which again, I have to announce the date for later on, uh, but it'll be in time. Soon. I already have the switches ready for it, so. I, I suppose that is my next TKL. I still haven't even built uh, some other stuff that I've gotten. I, I have so much shit that I have not built because I just don't have time for my own boards right now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> But again, I think I'll have more time during the summer. Uh, right now, it's just not a great time. All right, so this is what I have here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oops. Here's an aluminum plate. This is the keyboard that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's actually a prototype unit, so it's not perfect. Um, but this is the Droplet TKL. It has this cool steel engraved backing uh, and on the interior, which looks really nice. Um, it's basically brushed steel. It's a, if it's a thin piece of brushed steel that's like bolted onto the back side of the board. And it looks really nice. Uh, this is the side. Uh, it has these little accents, which actually can be replaced with acrylic or polycarb that can diffuse RGB lighting. Uh, very standard side, uh, side though, and uses very standard bump-ons. Um, and this is the bottom. Uh, this has a cool, uh, it's, it's a brushed steel weight. Um, so what's interesting about this board, however, is actually the, the, the finish. Um, so the finish is this is this cool paint. So they did this special paint application. It's not anodized. This is a painted board. 
Um, it, it has a very nice texture to it, very smooth. The finish is actually really nice. And even then, they actually disclosed to me that the finish is not perfect on it. On this particular unit that they sent me, they basically told me, oh, like this is actually, uh, it's still, we're still actually um, improving on it. Um, but uh, it, it looks great. Is that like an orange peel? <laughs> sort of. I mean, it, it, it definitely has a bit of the texture to it. It has kind of like these like glittery, like, like, has kind of like glitter to it, a bit of like a pearlescent like nature to it. But it, it looks really good, right? Uh, it's called a droplet decal. It already ran, I believe. It was from Korea. I'm, uh, those are uh, my fingerprints, I think. So you can ignore that. It has a um, USB, I think that's A port. But yeah, um, I'll be building this in the in the near future. Um, just wanted to give a teaser or like just show it briefly. Um, but I'll be I'll be building this uh, later on. Just waiting to uh, basically um, set a date for it and have some time to do it. Um, and yeah, and and then announce it. But yeah, um, it, it looks really good. Um, so I, I was curious because of the finish, uh, and yeah, the backing is laser etched. Yeah, the in the inside the inside piece is a laser laser engraved, laser etched um, steel piece. It's very thin actually. I I ha I didn't undo it right now, but it's like a very thin piece. Basically, it's it's a smart way of adding a touch on the inside without even having to really modify much about the board. Like all you have to do is just have a few screw. Um, like you know a few taps for the screws right um and and tap that bottom bottom piece of it and and uh you can put a just a thin piece of whatever aluminum or steel or whatever it is and you know you can add a bit of like art or a finishing touch to it which is pretty nice um i thought that was really nice and the paint finish is something that i was very intrigued about um and so at least my first look at it was just i was very impressed so I'm pretty excited to 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 um, I guess like uh, check that out in more detail as I build it and whatnot. But yeah, uh, more on that soonish. Um, it's coming up pretty soon, and I have a few other things that I have to show later on. But uh, I'm still waiting on some parts, so I don't have right anything right now to tease. But yeah, I need to find a TKL to build. TKLs, are there any TKLs running right now? I haven't checked the group by page re recently. I've seen some decent ones pop up in the market. There's like classy TKL, there's like, uh, what was that? I mean, I've seen some KFECs go for a pretty good price. Um. TX87 and TX84 boards are also pretty good if you're interested in that or like the 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 crystal version TX board I forget what the name exactly was that one also looked pretty nice from what I saw so that one I would probably recommend um people I haven't seen anyone say bad things about it I think Manoli built one I forget who built one recently I think Alex Happy I think also built one and uh um, I think, uh, oh, what's his name? Keone, I think, built one too. Why is your Jane set up in quartz? It's not really set up in quartz. It's quirty, but it, it's just the keycaps that are have quartz on it. EO87, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, exactly. Diego, what board comes to mind when you think of orange anodal, like orange color anodizing? 
syllogy? Is that what you're asking me about? Yeah? Orange anodizing. I think I remember the Fox Lab orange <laughs> board was pretty good. I remember the Fiel round one had really good orange. Um and orange. Man, I don't see much orange out there. I can't remember what else. That slept on all the TKLs I ran last year? It's okay, Persian. You sleep on the TKLs last year, there's gonna be like 10 more in like in, in, in this year. So like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't fuss over missing out on a TKL because there's always more TKLs coming out. <laughs> there's always more TKLs. Everyone wants a TKL. So, so So people are gonna make them and keep making them. Like, there, there's never gonna be a shortage. Never gonna be a shortage of 65% and TKLs. I think those two layouts are easily the most widely produced layouts as far as group buys go and like like, like the number of group buys that run around them, around those layouts. So uh, there, won't, there won't be a shortage of those designs. Um, I mean, of course, if you're in love with a certain look or design or brand or whatever, then, you know, that's kind of like your own thing to figure out. But um, if you're interested in just the layout itself, there's also so many boards that are coming out in that particular layout, in those two particular layouts. 65% and TKL. I think 60% is finally catching up. Um, there, oops. For a while, there wasn't as much 60% going on, and I've definitely seen a lot more activity in the 60% arena, which is fantastic for me because I personally love 60%. Um, it is like my favorite, like one of my favorite layouts, one of my two favorite layouts to have on 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 a desk. And so for me, 60% um, being a uh, more recent thing has been sort of a blessing and a curse um but uh it's been lovely to see uh some of that um i personally really like that and i think for me the thermal really was kind of like a very uh, highlighting moment for that the juby was also for really great when i built that and have been using it too recently uh those two boards really um have been very good um there's a lot of other good boards out there though like you know there's a unicorn there's i think recently there's like the gaff 60 or whatever um you know like there's other boards that are coming up soon there's gonna be like ions rogue and maybe finder works will do a run of hyphen i don't know um there's just so many boards out there now um and there's like some open source stuff too out there uh i believe um so you can always look in do you like the falcon diego i do like the falcon syllogy the only one thing i don't like about the falcon for matrix uh is the branding on the corner I actually would would have loved to not see the branding on there uh, for the small corner blocker for the HHKB stuff, but but I still do like the overall design language of the Falcon. If only the branding were there, it would have been great. But um, I understand it's kind of like a very matrix thing to do to put branding like very apparent branding in places. So uh, you know whatever. But it's a cool board. It's a cool looking board. I mean, Matrix overall kind of has it nailed down. Like they have their own style at this point that it's kind of like hard to overlook. Like it's just like, they, they know they know what they're doing. I think at this point, I mean, they've had many years of experience now um, and kind of like they really control a lot of the manufacturing side of things too. So they have had a lot of experience uh, messing around. Oj Poj, how are you? Hello, hope you've been well. Thank you, so, thank you so much. We're at a point where you can really pick what you want to buy. So many offers, yeah, yeah. So Funzi is totally right. Like right now, if you have a little bit of patience and you're kind of open-minded to a variety of designs and works out there, um, there's just no shortage of options. Um, there just is so so much, and. You know, I, I personally think that you shouldn't let other people decide that for you. But again, it, it is a personal uh, decision to make. I was going to say 65 and TKL is so popular. Waiting for the TKL. Hmm. All this orange talk making me crave some orange crush. <laughs> I haven't had orange crush in so long. 
DI3GN. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. I really like 96% boards, but three only ever. Wait, there's only like three ever in the market. So the 96% layout actually kind of fell out of the popularity in the market. Uh, mainly, I think is because it kind of got over. Like, basically, anybody who uses 96% kind of like this, like either went on to just using full size or using 1800 slash like CP layout or a numpad separate from like a TKL or like a, you know, any other smaller layout board with a numpad on the side. And it looks like, you know, it looked kind of cramped and overall, I think just the design language of a, like the layout and the design language around a 96% is fairly, like it, it just kind of fell out of favor in the community. Um, but the good thing, if you like a 96% layout board, is that if you, let's say, you're looking for like a duck lightsaber V3 or something like that, they are pretty affordable in the market right now. I mean, I've seen a few sell for basically a cost. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, they, they definitely are out there. Um, so there are options. There are options. But yeah, it's, it's definitely true that there hasn't been much going on buzzing around in that layout. RBB coming up, yeah, from Zekworks. Yeah, Zekworks is doing a F13 TKL called uh, RBB. Really bad boy. Falcon so nice, but China only apparently. Yeah, indeed. Uh, what about the back, the back of 60? So the back of 60 is the same as the squid 60. We've built a couple of squid 60s on stream, and it's been a pretty good. It's a it's a good board. Solid board. Um, the only thing about it was. Uh, the, the brass plate uh, um, of course uh, because the way it's sandwiched the brass plate can also have a bit of a tolerance differences but it was a non-issue because you can always just uh, put a little piece of tape or something and like it'll fix it in place um, but overall uh, the Baca 60 or the squid 60 was a pretty nice board to build uh, in my opinion Gator walk, hello, Mr. Obsidian. Oh, I should add that. Uh, I should uh, I should add that um, emote to my uh, BTTV list now. Now that um, now that we have a Gator, Gator Ron, we should add it to my emote list. Thank you so much again, Obsidian, for that. Is the ogre as good as everyone says? The ogre is pretty good. Um, I personally think the ogre is a bit of a. It, it's a. It's a nice board. It ha, is. It's a looker for sure. It's very simple looking and it's a looker. Um, one thing about the ogre is that it's a pretty tight board in the sense that it has very little space on the interior. So and it, it like it's basically a form of. It, it was designed so that it would preserve a very low front height and a low angle. Um, so if you're into that, then the ogre is pretty good board. But again, uh, the, the one thing with the ogre is also like if you want to get get in the aftermarket, it's gonna be pretty tough, um, because uh, people who have it are keeping it or you know not trading, not selling or whatever. Or if they sell, they like, they would only do it at a high price, you know that kind of stuff. Um, there's just not too many of them out there, so uh, that could be the disadvantage for it. If you don't own one and wanted to have one. Let's see. Um, International is getting a slightly different design. They might have taken notes from the Noah group by where everyone wanted to remove tools and toys and they eventually gave in. Oh, I'm glad that they uh, are considering new options like that. I actually really like it when designers or like teams of like, you know, production, like Matrix Lab, for example, or like, you know, whoever it is. I like it when they take the tips from like what's going on in in the market or like in their in their particular audience. Like instead of just being like, no, this is the way I'm going to do it. And, and like, or like, especially like if people clearly don't like something in a vast majority of cases, like that's a sign, you know, it's a flag. And if you don't take notes from that, I think it's kind of silly. Again, it depends on whether you're doing it for yourself, for yourself or not. So it's a, it's a personal choice, but for, for, for like these bigger groups that are trying to kind of like 
sell lots of units to fulfill demand, it's it's a no-brainer to take notes and to kind of like appease that part of the market. But not a lot of people do it. It's not like everyone's full-time either, so there's that. If you're a hobbyist, you're mostly going to be making so that it suits your own taste and then people are just joining in for the ride, basically. I do like seeing, uh, I mean, I do like that Zekin has taken up streaming as a way to sort of relieve some of the stress and also just to kind of share the process. I think that's actually great because it pretty much informs people how things work and how things are made. I think that's actually like a really nice thing to do. It's educational. So I've, I've been appreciating seeing that. I personally have not tuned in much to his streams because I timing doesn't work out too well for me but the few times I have it's I think it's nice it's kind of wholesome and um, personally I think that more of that kind of stuff is going to abridge the gap in people's like real understanding and the way like things actually work like it's good to it's good to see that it's good to see more informed people in the market but one thing I kind of don't like is seeing more like know-it-all kind of personalities. Yeah, we don't need that. Although I think I can come off like that sometimes. I know that. I recognize that. I've been told things like that before. Like, oh, you have a chip on your shoulder. I try to not to, not to be that way though. What's Jane's board plate? Uh, exclamation keyboard for that, but this has a half polycarb built uh, on it. JD deserves all the friends. Yeah. JD. When are they doing the International Falcon Group buy? I have no clue. No clue. I can't keep up. <laughs> I honestly rely on other people to keep me posted on some things because I just have no bandwidth to keep up with all the things going on. There are just so many Discord servers now too. There's like a Discord server for every single group and like, ugh, just too much, too much. I even made an alt. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but I have an alt. Like a Discord alt, like it's like a public thing, right? Um, where I like reach a hundred servers in my personal account because I also have like, you know, I, I've joined personal servers, like, you know, friend servers and whatnot, right? Because of like games or like, you know, reunions or whatever, like on Discord. But I don't want to leave them because, you know, they're private and like, if you leave them, then you have to get an invite again. And it's not like the public links available out there, right? So I've reached the server limit basically, right? And I made an all to like join some other keyboard servers because I just don't have the space for them. And I'm just like, well, like, god damn, like there's so many. There's too many. There's too many servers. Love design streams where it gets me messing into, messing around learning things about using CAD. Yeah, yeah, you learn like little tricks too. So it's, it's great. I mean, I don't CAD. But for the people who do, I, I I bet it's super resourceful. I think it's I think it's great that people are kind of picking up on that too. Too many emotes. Oh, I also have yeah a lot of emote servers, but I I actually just have a lot of friend servers too because I. Okay, so I'll be honest, right? Um, I kind of don't really have a very fixed friend group per se i kind of am like i have like a like a close friend in a lot of different circles and so like when that happens you end up having to hang out with different groups of people and if you hang out with different groups of people then you have to join a lot of different servers <laughs> um so that happens to me a lot um 
kind of a more real thing. But um, other than that, yeah, it just it's just really annoying. The 100 server cap, like I understand why it's there because Discord has grown so much. But God damn, it's so annoying. There's just so many keyboard servers though, for sure. There's a server limit on Discord? It's a uh, hundred. A hundred servers is a limit on Discord. Falcon is just 60% 2.0 ADD though. I mean, I don't mind. I think it's nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Out here. All the servers getting bigger too? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the activity, the amount of activity out uh, on Discord, like it's insane. I just wish Falcon wasn't only HKB. Yeah, I understand if you're into like poker layout or like non HKB because HKB, yeah, it's definitely niche. I mean, if you consider 60% uh, layouts like Wing Keyless, regular poker 60%, and HKB, HKB is the most niche for sure. Uh, and then Wing Keyless and 60%, like poker, I think it's, they're, they're both very popular. So yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see more variety, but I know that 60% is kind of niche. Cause not everyone can use the no corner blocker. I mean, corner blocker layout like that. So. Okay, so stabs are on. Nice fit. Microsoft about to ruin Discord if they succeed in buying it. Yeah, I don't know what's got, what's gonna happen with that. People have been kind of saying like, oh my God, we're so doomed. We kind of have to move to like Signal or something. Or, well, I guess it's not the same, but yeah. Basically, a different place. <sighs> okay, so time to test. Back to Skype. Oh, God, no. But wait, Skype is also Microsoft, though. <laughs> Imagine people moving to Skype because they hate Microsoft, but they don't realize it's Microsoft. <laughs> They're like, back in my day, I used to do Skype. It's like, yeah, by the way, though. Back to MSN Messenger. <laughs> Dude, I, I sometimes hear those, like, you know, like those, uh, like, I am, like, chat sounds from back in those days. And it's like, Fuck. <laughs> it's been so long, but I still remember this <laughs> so vividly. Discord is uh, the only right option to communicate with the outside world from Save Zone. <laughs> I, I actually did not grow up with AAM because I grew up in Mexico. I I grew up with uh, MSN Messengers was kind of like my chat client of choice. But that's because I, I'm like an international person. ICQ bros in the house? Oh man, I do know ICQ though. Uh, my brothers, I have older brothers, so they grew up with ICQ. I mean, they know ICQ. They tried ICQ, they used ICQ at some point. Um, I uh, did not live, well, I, I was not active on the internet when ICQ was a thing as much. 
But I, I made my email account in like 1999, like my first email account. So I still have it, I think, but I just don't use it much anymore. Pretty sure at this point it's probably hacked and hacked, hacked to death. But yeah, IRC, IRC, good times. Yeah, I used to be in a lot of, I used to be pretty active on IRC servers. I used to be active in the IRC servers for games and stuff too. You say 1999? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first email account, I made it in 1999. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? So you never got those CDs in the mail for free 40 hours of internet? No, I, no, I did not, no. I did not live that era. I did use dial-up though, for a long time. But yeah, a lot of AAM AOL references, it, it kind of, I kind of, uh, it kind of goes past, like it kind of goes over my head because I didn't live that personally. That's the year I was born. <laughs> oh, you young un. Not that I'm that old, but damn. It's kind of crazy to think college students are like year 2000 now <laughs> for like age of like a year of birth. Okay, so let's test the stabs out. Clearly, it clearly it wasn't Y2K proof. <laughs> yeah. Um, AOL dial-up login sound. I know that because I've kind of like been exposed to some of the references. Just got back from the shop after hanging out with. Oh, with Ryan. Oh, that's neat. How, how is he doing? He's a good guy. He's not on stream right now, but Ryan, oh, very nice. Didn't know you guys were close by. That's cool. It's a good thing to have uh, people close by to try out boards and stuff. Even if it's like one other person, it still makes a difference. He drove like three hours to hang out? Oh, damn. That's a long drive. Crazy, but he's a super nice guy. Yeah, no, he's a he's a great dude. Love love that fellow. He's he's so nice. He's always been nice to me, and uh, he's nice to other people too. Really like community members who are wholesome and nice like that. It's so nice. It's just like chill people. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. All right, stabs are good now. Good to go. Hello, no tech. Hello, is this original matrix code? What's the Cerakote color? Uh, I think it is the original Cerakote color from Matrix. I 
don't know what the exact color name is, but it's basically like an off-white cream. Like, I don't know. what I, I It's not my board, so I can't tell you. It's, is it in the box or something? I don't see any labels on the box, so, I, so it doesn't seem like I can tell you. I think Matrix does E-code, not Cerakote. Oh, okay, I was told Cerakote, so I just wrote Cerakote, so yeah. If it's if it's if it's error code, it's error code. If it's E code, it's E code. I I don't know. <laughs> I, I I haven't participated in a matrix group I personally, or I'm not like super invested in their products to like know everything about them. I just know what the board models are. But yeah, that's cool. Hey, someone else, how you doing? I thought they did powder coats. I think they do all kinds of stuff, honestly. <laughs> I actually think they have done all of these different things. Albert said Serco didn't meet their quality standards. I see. Good to know. Good to know. Well, whatever it is, it's coated in something that's cream off-white color. Uh, all that matters is that the finish is pretty good and it has a bit of a texture to it and the seams are perfectly lined up and it's a very nice color. <laughs> I don't really care what the code exactly is, but it looks good, feels good. Um, yeah, I'm not too concerned. But it's good to know the technicalities. 2.0 ADD codes are something similar to Cerakote, close but not the same. Oh, okay, I see. So maybe it is electrostatic code, which is E-code. What springs? Uh, I think these are stock springs, yeah. I think these are stock 70 gram springs. You can tell it from the weight, it's pretty, pretty sure it's stock. Say off white enough and you'll summon the hype beast. Off white, off white, off white, off white, off white. Supreme, supreme, off white. What's your keycap puller? Stock Gadron springs? Yeah, the Gadron ink springs. They're pretty good, actually. Uh, what's my keycap puller? My keycap puller is, is a, the exclamation key puller or exclamation keycap puller. It's a puller by Mr. Tempest uh, from all the way from New Zealand. Um, he makes basically artisanal key pullers. Um, he released them by batch through keyboardtreehouse.com. Uh, so they don't, like, he doesn't do commissions per se specifically. Um, so you might have to just wait for him to make enough to release in a batch um, that uh, eventually gets sold through Keyboard Treehouse. That's basically his method of sale. Extremely hard to get, mostly because there's a lot of manual labor involved, and I believe uh, Mr. Tempest just recently got married. Um, so he's been a busy uh, living life, so to speak. Um, so, you know. I uh, would, I think, some consideration for his current living um, uh, circumstances would be appropriate. Oh, Tempest, hello! How are you doing? Got to cop that new KC Vickery. <laughs> people be talking about the Vickery auction as if they're going to participate, but I know that most people who talk about it aren't. It's like the... I know you can't afford it, probably, or even if you can't, you probably won't participate. The people do like talking about it, though. Not bad. Was my garage for the morning? Oh, nice, dude. Working? Working new stuff? <laughs> Mod check. Very nice. Good to see a lot of uh, familiar faces in chat today. Yeah. I feel like I, I do feel like I do see you guys pretty often, but it's always good to see regulars. Hello from Russia. Wow. Well, hello, uh, twenty-seven. Alisher, welcome. Uh, I guess hello from the United States. I'm in New York. 
My name is Diego. You can call me Lightning if you want. Um, and I build keyboards. I'm not sure if you're into keyboards or if you know about keyboards, but welcome to the chat. I saw you on recommendation because I follow Teja Types. Oh, look at that. Bless up. Al algorithm. Just kidding. Maybe he also has it on recommended channels, but um, it's good to it's good to it's good to know that people are referred to other places also. Keyboards. Bless Nathan. Nathan, good guy. I hope uh, hope he's doing all right. I mean, I, I so I mod for Nathan too. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, I need to figure out the spacing of this. Um, so let's grab a few keycaps here. I think that's the only reason why you were on my recommendations because I don't see any other reasons. Possible, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the, I don't know how the, the way the algorithm works and such. I mean, I'm sure, I think, I believe they recommend you if also if you have a lot of followers in common, uh, people tend to get referred like that a lot. I know that because at least on this, on the streaming dashboards end of things, like for like my end as a streamer, we see like, uh, we see like, um, for example, it says like, oh, your your viewers came from X channel or your viewers share uh, followership basically with X and Y channels. Um, and you know, you can see like who you share um, followers a lot with um, or like where they might be clicking from and so on. Um, but I don't personally care too much about the statistics, but it's good to hear that people get referred to other places if they have the same interest. It's a good way to get exposed to other people too, not get stuck in one place. My bad. No, you're not. You don't have to apologize for anything. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do exclamation YouTube. I mostly just put up my build streams up there and uh, typing sounds for keyboards that I build. I'll go follow. Well, I appreciate that. You don't have to, but I appreciate it. Thanks, Obsidian. Even though you're not my moderator. I'm a bot, don't worry. Oh, that's right. Obsidian AI is has now entered the chat. I do need to publish a new typing video, I think. I was really blown away by the Anno of the R1, R2.1 green unicorn. Oh, the green is super nice. That like foresty kind of green, man, so clean. So nice. It's such a nice green, that's the thing. So, hmm. hold on. I need a... Grand Hydrate, thank you. <laughs> Sardo, hello. 
wow, you actually have the username sourdough. I, you know, I figure like there, there would be people who would have that username already. It's like, you know, like common words tend to be taken, right? As usernames. Sometimes it's cool to see when some, you know, someone who has like the most generic username possible for a particular concept. It's like when people on Twitter, like, you know, obviously like famous people normally tend to have like whatever that handle is. But yeah. Obsidian has a lot of practice being a bot. <laughs> so much practice, he's also making a clone of his of himself, basically. Underscore user got lucky on it. <laughs> Changed my username to this when Twitch lasted their inactive username wipeout a couple years back. How do you even know when they do their wipeouts though, you know? It's like impossible to know. Unless, I mean, you probably like hear it from more of the mouth or like, you know, you like see it on Reddit or something, but... I feel like they... It's like... I feel like they like almost never do those wipeouts really because I've seen people who have... Who have been like, oh, like I've been waiting for like a year or longer or whatever for this username, but pretty much haven't been able to get it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think Twitch really does these wipeouts often. They're all old Justin TV names? Yeah, yeah, I know that. I, the other day I was watching this interview of the Justin TV founder guy. Super smart dude. I think I watched it, it was on, I think it was on Asian Balls, I forget. It's a YouTube channel. Okay, let's just make sure everything's nice and flush on the plate. Okay, that looks good. Good here, okay. start soldering still waiting for someone to release obsidian raid hmm. yeah. do you see that guy who cloned the ogre no I haven't I mean that's funny cloning huh hmm not good they announced it, that's how a bunch of people sniped the names they wanted. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's cool. Good for them to announce it. That's nice. Let's consider it. Uh, let's see. Um, there was a post on Reddit on the timing and date, etc. in advance. I see, I see. My username was from Justin TV. I'm old. I I remember having an old username on Justin TV. I just don't even remember what the account was. Uh, I remember making a uh, Justin TV account a long time back, but I just don't know what that account was. Yeah, I couldn't find like an email verification kind of stuff on it, so kind of forgot about it. Probably wasn't like in the burner account or something, I don't know. I'm surprised the guy that found it Twitch doesn't even stream on it. I mean, isn't that like entrepreneurship at its core though? Entrepreneurship at its core, and they, they normally don't have to be participants of the thing that they're inventing or making, you know? So. Check the Ogre Discord. It was a huge drama. He remade it in Cat and then taunted Zekin. Oh, that's so shitty. That's really shitty. I still have my 2015 Twitch account. I haven't used it because you couldn't change your username back then. Don't get high on your own supply. 
What do you mean? Alright, let's get this out of the way for now. Not using the platform you created? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's a pretty reasonable thing. Yeah. Alright, so the Matrix 2.0 is so nice. Packaging is great, yep. Yeah. Anno and QC, yeah, yeah. They um they've really uh gotten a lot better and also uh made a lot of changes that are pretty appealing to like contemporary users basically. Um which is great. I mean you know USB C port, daughter board, all that good stuff. Um let's um Get on to our sponsored segment for a bit while I solder. Um, if you have anything that you wanted to ask me or contribute, make sure you tag me. I think it's going to be easier for me to catch up with chat that way. But um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's get let's get started, shall we? Um, so first up, we have. On our sponsor segment, we have Canon Keys as usual. Uh, you can head on over to Canon Keys. Right now, I believe we have a few key sets running. A uh, few key sets on group by running. Right now, we have GMK Fuji, a uh, gray themed key set with, um, inspired by Fujisan, um, the Mount Fuji. Um, and it has some cute, uh, sort of like cherry blossom pink accents to it. Uh, pretty nice key set in my opinion. Um, I'm personally pretty tempted to get it, uh, but I'm also waiting for CRP round 4, so I'm not sure if I'll have the funds, but um, very, very nice looking key set in my opinion. If you don't have muted or anything gray and uh, more subtle like that, it's a pretty nice key set to purchase. Um, next up, we also have EPVT Aesthetic currently on Group Buy on uh, Canon Keys. Uh, there's a desk map for it as well. We have DSA 1930 if you're interested in a more uniform profile for for typing. It's also on currently on Group Buy. CRPR4 took my $650. Damn. Are you going to build a Salvation Proto? Um, maybe eventually, yes. Uh, but currently at the moment uh, we don't know yet I mean I don't have any I don't have a salvation prototype in my hands or anything so can't tell you for sure until I have it in hand um, we also have a dark amber t1 switches currently on Canon keys uh, there's a variety of other switches as well available like lilac switches and lavenders and OA uh, and reds and navy switches from AE boards um, Canon key sells an assortment of switches uh, they also sell like stabilizers and PCB replacements for 60%. They also sell uh, practice 60 and 65 for example. Uh, they're smaller keyboard kits that might be uh, more budget friendly and also for practice for those people who are looking to learn how to solder and practice. Um, it's a good way to start. Uh, so Canon Keys has some of that. They also sell lube and other uh, keyboard uh, switch modding related items. So just go ahead and uh, check out their stock. Um, please do consider using the uh, affiliate link that's currently in the sponsors command exclamation sponsors for that um, yeah so check out Canakees. next up we have uh, Mint Autumn um, again uh, they are currently working on 
fulfilling the rookie round two and uh, there might be a rookie around three in a different material as well as the Irma TKL which is going to be a polyethylene case. Uh, Jack Static currently working on injection molding equipment um, so if you want to cheer him on and um, also just talk about other aspects of the different designs that they're working on uh, feel free to join the Mint Autumn Discord and the newsletter. Uh, they have a website mintautumn.com for you to check out more details on their projects. Uh, next up we have um, we have Novel Keys. How's it going Maxbot? Hello. Thoughts on DSA 1930? Um, personally I don't use uh, uniform uh, spherical profiles anymore like DSA sets uh, just in general just because I don't I just don't type on them as often uh, but as far as the look goes it kind of has a bit of a subdued gray color right like I mean it's it's an interesting set um, I personally am not one for it uh, like I'm not gonna purchase it but if you're into the aesthetic I mean why not um, I don't I don't really have a say on it though uh, to be honest with you so I, I would suggest you check out like the details of the listing and see if that aesthetic is for you um, there's also like DSA sets are probably gonna be um, they might not take as long to produce as GMK sets nowadays because of the the backlog is rather huge on GMK for example um, so there's that to consider yeah there are several factors but uh, you should probably check it out on your own to make that choice anyway so back to the different channels um, I mean the different sponsors we have um, novel keys next uh, over on novel keys we um, have a variety of in stock items there's quite a lot out there um, on novel keys I believe the NK87 uh, pre-order is still open for 265 US dollars uh, it's an aluminum TKL case uh, that is budget friendly in uh, I mean at least relatively budget friendly I think uh, that includes quite a lot to it uh, pretty much comes with everything that you need to use it right away and um, you can now we have the ability to use PCB mount stabilizers if you wanted to replace the plate mount stabilizers that are currently on like that would currently come with the board um, and uh, it comes in a variety of colors uh, it comes in purple yellow beige black and white uh, some of these colors are in a specialized coating method uh, that's kind of similar to Cerakote I believe. I'm not exactly sure what the method is but it's called Novel Coat. Uh, but you know something to consider. Um, and yeah for 265 US dollars and uh, it's currently open for pre-order. Um, also open for pre-order right now we have um, SA Tatooine which is a collaboration between Novel Keys and the Star Wars um, studio basically uh, Disney and um, it's an officially licensed set uh, after Star Wars. Um, so if you're interested in Star Wars and if you're interested in a spherical row profile um, key set like SA Tatooine uh, and, and those particular brighter colors, so just checking it out. It has a nice striated, uh, striated sort of uh, color scheme going on for it. Um, and it comes in a single kit with basically very wide compatibility so you don't have to, like it's a bit pricey but you don't have to worry about um, having to buy, purchase um, multiple different kits for, for, your, for your needs. Uh, we also have um, GMK Striker Round 2 still on group buy, I believe, until the first week of April. Uh, so if you're looking to get GMK Striker, if you missed out on the last time, or if you have been inspired to get a blue and white key set that's a simpler two-color, um, uh, this GMK Striker might be for you. Uh, there's also some cool decimat designs available for GMK Striker, um, so check that out. Uh, currently in stock, as far as key sets go, um, we have PVT Notion, which is a new cherry profile um, set that currently went in stock uh, on Novel Key. So you can actually use the promo code THUNDER uh, to get 5% off uh, as a discount on Novel Keys. So if you actually purchase any in stock item on Novel Keys, you can get a 5% off discount if you use the promo code that I provide here, which is THUNDER. Just apply THUNDER on checkout and you'll get 5% off any in stock item. It doesn't apply for a group of items though. Uh, so PBT Notion is a set designed by um, BIP. Uh, BIP is a popular uh, to have designed Bento and um, you know Honor and Bushido and a bunch of different sets, Milkshake, right? Um, so if you wanted to uh, check his new venture into this PVT set um, out, uh, you know, go ahead and check out PVT Notion. It's currently in stock for uh, I believe uh, it starts at 85 US dollars. Um, so and you can get 5% off on it. So uh, like something like 80 dollars or so plus shipping uh, for you to consider as a new key set alternative that's currently in stock and available. 
taco salad is so good. What? Taco salad? Anyhow, I believe there's still NK65 Milkshake Edition Extra still available on the Novelty's website. Um, and there's also Desk Pad Extras available. Uh, there's a lot of different Desk Pads available on Novelty, so go ahead and check them out. Um, they often restock or sometimes they even uh, run new ones, new designs, uh, specially designed by members in the Novel Keys team. So I um, highly suggest checking that out um, if you're into the desk pad sort of thing. And um, you know, if you want to just check out a variety of them. There's also a bunch of switches. Novel Keys sells a lot of switches. They basically sell every kind of switch out there. Uh, I believe the TTC Wild switches just uh, sold recently. They also have a uh, different variety of JWK switches, Gadron switches, Cherry switches, and so on and so forth. Uh, so go ahead and check those out. Um, yeah, so for any in-stock item, you can get 5% off with Thunder. And yeah, of course, do feel free to check out Gatoron, which is the plushie that we just got here uh, as a new friend for JD. Uh, but um, Gatoron is uh, Nalaki's uh, first plushie that they released um, a while back. Uh, but uh, if you wanted a plushie companion for your room or your workspace, uh, Gatoron uh, could be your ideal plushie friend to accompany you on your keyboard adventures. Um, all right, next up we have Omnitype. You can head on over to omnitype.com slash lightning. Uh, Omnitype is the brand that recently rebranded from Dixie Mech, and um, Omnitype uh, currently has GMK Norse on Group Buy. I believe uh, it pretty much is about to end um, on Omnitype. Let me actually double check. Uh, but it's actually going to end soon. Jim King Norris. Uh, so if you're interested in Jim King Norris, it pretty much ends this week uh, on the 30th, I believe, at the end of the month. Um, Omnitype also uh, very frequently restocks different uh, desk pad designs. So if you're interested in getting new desk pads, Omnitype is another um, place to go that you can check out. Um, again, omnitype.com slash lightning if you wanted to support the channel at the same time as purchasing different items. It doesn't provide a discount, but uh, any purchases that you make through my link will uh, provide a small kickback in support of my channel. Just bought Norse, base novel and obscure, very nice. I'm, I'm actually not going to purchase Norse just because it's probably funding. But uh, it does look pretty nice. I actually am excited to see like uh, new sub legends and variety of that uh, out there now. Uh, it'll be a while until we see a lot more, but um, it's a start. It's, a, it's always good to have a start at least, so it's good. Uh, all right, next up we have um, Prime Keyboards. Go ahead and check out Prime Keyboards. Uh, they currently have um, Prime Keyboards. It's primekb.com slash lightning to access the store. Again, similarly, you can provide a small kickback if you access the store through that link. Um, they currently have alpaca switches, silent alpacas, cobalt palm switches, desk keys, uh, accessories like films and toper stuff. Uh, they also have Durox stabilizers in a variety of colorways. Uh, they have V1s and V2s. And they also have uh, switch pullers and lube stations and uh, loop holders and all sorts of cool accessories for your switch modding purposes. They also have replacement parts for any Prime KB um, run keyboard in the past, so like the, you know, the Prime E for example. Um, and and yeah, go ahead and check out their stock of switches and accessories. They also uh, sell 205 grade zero, Crytox 205 grade zero, but I believe they recently just uh, ran out. They'll be restocking again pretty soon. Uh, next up, you can check out Project Keyboard, projectkeyboard.com. Uh, currently running is uh, GMK Astral. Oh, looks like we almost ran out of solder. We only have one strip of solder here now. Uh, I have a new I have a new solder uh, uh, roll, so we'll be using that after we run out fully. All right, um, and yeah, check out Jimkey Astral on ProjectKeyboard.com. Currently running, pretty cute looking set. Um, I believe it's run by the same person who designed Jimkey Vaporwave. But yeah. It's a subtle looking set as far as colors. All right, next up we have Salvin.com. Salvin.com, our favorite Belgian machinist and CNC guy in Europe. 
Mr. Salvin does a lot of collaborations with keycap set designers as well as keyboard designers uh, to produce keyboards and as well as uh, keycap set uh, collaborations have novelties that are made by Salvin. Uh, so a lot of cherry profile and also different profiles like CAT and SA and DSA and so on and so forth. Salvin also sells a uh, new apparel now. Uh, they have a line of apparel that are, is currently um, being sold on their website. And uh, they also have collaborations with artisan makers such as Hungerworks Studio who designed the synth, which is a tool to sculpt and uh, make molds for artisan keycaps. Um, they also will be having Salvation indeed. Uh, Salvation is a 60% tray case with a leaf spring uh, design going for it. It's a design by Wilbatech actually, but will be run through salvin.com. Um, and who will be producing these keyboards. So uh, if you're interested, do check out the Salvation website uh, on, on, on Salvin's website and uh, this, the Salvation page, my bad. Um, and also on uh, Salvin.com, we have the Wilbatech PCBs. There's a 60% Weird Flex PCB as well as the Graphite Edition PCBs, which are compatible with a variety of keyboards, uh, particularly a lot of uh, different releases by Wilba himself and uh, Key Cult as well. Um, and uh, they have the ability to connect through a daughter board, uh, through a JST cable. So just always make sure to check the compatibility for those before you purchase, but they're available on salvin.com. All right, I'm just gonna check here my joints while I keep talking. Um, and then lastly, for sponsors, we have Space Cable, spaceholdings.net to access the store. Um, and on Space Cables, we have every single possible, Im possibly imaginable collaboration for cables and colorways, particularly anything that has to do with current group buy runs. Uh, they have collaborations for pretty much everything um, for all the keys that are currently running. Uh, so you can imagine they have a bunch of them like Nightshade and Striker 2 and Cobalt and Norse and so on and so forth. Uh, speaking of Nightshade, Jim Key Nightshade is currently running until April 3rd. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a purple themed um, key set designed by Mr. Uh, Blind Assassin. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of theme and color scheme, uh, do check out Jim Key Nightshade. They also have a couple of desk mats available as well as uh, I believe they have to wait for a restock for the XHT BDZ Crytox lubricant, uh, which is has been becoming very popular in our community for wire lubrication on stabilizers because it's thick and stays on your stabilizer wire which creates uh, which is a good way to have longevity on the lubrication of your stabs um, so uh, once they restock hopefully uh, they'll put an alert out there but you know do feel free to um, check out their newsletter as well as their discord server uh, they also have lube stations available currently in stock so yeah all right good I think the join looks good um, all right, so the next step here. So that's it for the sponsor segment. And let's see, get around to my homie. Hmm, my DZ60 stopped working, any advice? Uh, how did it stop working, i.e. like, what do you think is going on? Like, how did it stop working? Is it the cable? Have you tried a different cable? Have you tried a USB, different USB port on your computer? Um, Is it one switch that's not working or is it the whole PCB that's not working? Like, you know, you have to describe the issue. If you had to choose one Salvation or Vanquish, um, personally, I don't make my bet. I would choose Salvation for the reason that I prefer 60% over 65%. But I would like to try both just for the sake of curiosity. Uh, that's kind of my answer to it. What tea are you drinking? I'm drinking a matcha slash, uh, it's a green tea and the mint mix uh, it's cold it's kind of cold water and it's like lukewarm now but i'm just gonna let it infuse anyway all right let's test it out so to test it out i'm gonna have to plug in this thing but before that we need to get the captain tape So captain tape is basically a way to isolate electrical points um, and um, we're just gonna basically apply some captain tape, uh, maybe like two layers of captain tape on top of the pins of this one key here because the uh, 
little microcontroller daughter, uh, M2 piece goes on top of this, but these pins can short things around. So I'm just gonna apply a bit, a bit of captain on there. Hopefully that's enough. It's just enough to insulate it from the rest. Let's grab our little uh, daughter board thing. Alright. Alright. So, put the daughter board in. Let's get that screw. I did just cut the pins on that switch, works just fine. Yeah, we can just leave it as is. We can see what happens after I apply the cap. If it if it has issues, then we'll use a... If it has issues, then we'll... Uh... You know what? I actually might be tempted to flush cut this a bit because the pins do look like they're bending it slightly, so I might actually flush cut it slightly. Just not not too much, but just a bit. I mean, the tape should work too, but um, I mean, it, it just goes through the tape too. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna flush cut it slightly. Cutters. Here it is. Your daughter board bending the switches? Yeah, yeah. or the switches bending the daughter board rather. We can apply some tape anyway, just to be safe. Have you ever thought about designing a keyboard? Yeah, I have. Um, but uh, the only issue is I don't have the time. Honestly. Building building is quite a lot as it is, but I've thought about it. Yeah, i thought about it. I just don't have the bandwidth for it. It's a new skill I need to learn and... Um, I have to say I don't really have brilliant ideas. I'm not as much of a creative type. And if I do something, I would want it to be something that's kind of mine and unique. But yeah, um, not really, uh, not really in the in the mood for it, I guess. All right, cool. That should be good. It takes a lot of patience more than anything. Yeah, for sure. It's just a new skill to learn. So. I totally get it. All right, that looks perfect now. Okay, that looks really good. All right, so next up, we need to plug in our daughter boards as usual um, and test it out. Looks like it turned on fine. Let's open up uh, VIA for a sec and let's hit reset and let's test it.
All right, everything works. I mean, I think this key is a, uh, oh, it's map to delete. Okay, whatever. That's all right. Okay, everything works. And, all right, let's remove this for now. And let's assemble it now, finally. Exciting. Are you working on any projects this year? Uh, I mean, I'm working on like my life. So that's the only projects I have. The only projects I have in my current stage of life is living life slash doing well on in, at school, in, well enough. And then um, doing builds. Uh, featuring new keyboards, cool keyboards. That's that's, that's that's as good as it gets, to be honest with you. That's plenty already for me. It's actually quite a lot of my time already. Um, uh, one thing I do want to work on uh, eventually is I want to restore my... I want to restore one of my vintage boards, but... I have a lot of parts, but I just haven't gotten around to it. It just needs a lot of time. <laughs> what do you use to test your PC? I'm using Via. Can I use via.com? Exclamation via if you want to do that. Personal build? No, not a personal build. Will it be K-pop inspired? Seems like that is a trend now. I think there's a lot of different quote unquote trends. Let's uh, put this together. Vintage cherry or Alps? Neither. Neither. I, I want to restore my beam spring board. Still kind of sitting on its own. Was it you who got the beam spring? Not recently, no. I got that one like a while ago. Like a long time ago. What's my preferred layout? I like 60% and TKLs the most. Do you build a key code already that you just got? No, I have not. I have no I have had no time to loop switches and I have had no time to work on my own boards. I pretty much focus on client boards first because obviously they are a bit more restrictive on the time as in like people I, I know that people send me boards because they want them built and they want them back to be used so I focus on those first I put all my personal builds are always last I sometimes weave them in in between things but right now I'll be honest with you my queue is pretty packed uh, I've gotten some recent requests for builds and I've told people like hey like um, to be honest if you send me a board right now it's gonna take over a month for me to build it because it right now I my like month of April right now is packed. Like if you want your board back soon, if you send it, I either do it off stream or or you just wait until I'm done. So yeah, right now my all my personal boards take the take the bench. Bench time for my for my um, personal keyboards. Or maybe I should have put that in first. I'm sure you got asked a lot, but uh, where's the deskmat from? It's a KWK deskmat. Just look it up. Uh, actually, well, it's a kind of like a fan made sort of deskmat, but it's a KWK deskmat. It's not like publicly available per se. Like you can just get it on. You can maybe get it on like Mech Market and such. But uh, it was like a small group by that was run by a community member. I'm not sure they're planning to rerun it though. So. Uh -huh. I didn't like inks in my ADD. I enjoy MX Black in there. Mm -hmm. Suffering from success. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. 
How you doing? Who is this? Is this Chad or is this Shiny? I think it's Shiny, right? It's always, I think it's always Shiny. How you doing, Shiny? How you doing, dude? It's always Shiny, okay. How you doing, man? I'm gonna tape this, actually, because it probably will be nicer to just tape this down and not have it dangle around. Chillin'! Good shit. Favorite stabs? I like Jurok stabs and Cherry Clippins. Cherry screens are fine too, though. Oh, I actually don't care. As long as they work, it's fine. Ugh. I'm asking someone I know to look for a Matrix Lab Falcon. I love to look for the board so much. I feel like it's gonna sound pretty generic. I mean, it's top mount. Typical top mount, right? daughter board in first This one can just lay fly like that. Maybe I'll just do one piece. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. Because just in case they don't pull it out. I think this is good enough. Alright. We're gonna leave the mat in there. The rubber mat. Oh man, we're just gonna go ahead and close it up. Okay. Let's just test it before we close it up fully, just in case. Okay, cool. I think it works. Alright, cool. Oh, Yura, hello! How are you? Uh, how was your trip? Or are you back? Or are you still on your trip? How are you doing? <laughs> I 
Do you hate anything more than sneezing? I don't hate anything more than sneezing. Actually, no, I do hate things more than sneezing. Sneezing, sneezing seems like a very uh, trivial matter. I actually don't hate sneezing that much. It's like, whatever. I ordered 300 hyperglides a few months back in the German group by, and they all got lost in a ship accident. Oh my god. That's awful. Would you know anything about that battleship? You talking about, uh... What? I'm on my way home. I'll be home in five hours. Oh, okay. Long drive. Wait, do you drive down to LA? That sounds like a that sounds like a LA drive. LA to Bay Area drive. Five hours? That sounds exactly like a Bay Area to LA drive. <laughs> or LA to a Bay Area rather. Um My namesake was scrapped a hundred years ago. Khajiit is innocent of this crime. No texting and driving? I don't think they're driving. You can't be on Twitch chat while they're driving. It's like impossible. Anyway. Alright. We're we done. Whew. Interesting. I'm excited for this. Let's pack things up. Driving from LA to the bay. I see, I see. Well, have a safe drive up. It's a long way. Hopefully you don't get sick of the uh, of the I-5, I guess. screws and little packets okay do you think what keycaps you're putting on this uh, probably is something in beige I think that it's the most fitting thing to put in on on here right now Probably. I'm in the backseat, don't worry. Yeah. I've done this drive too many times to count now. Yeah, I mean, I bet. It's very pretty this time of year because of all the green. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah, spring and fall. Hmm. Best times to be driving. Best time to do a road trip. I love, I love road trips in like nice weather. All right. Cool, we're done. So, let's see, what key set are we putting on is the question. I mean, I have some other key sets, but let's see, let's choose a Hmong beige key set. So I'm gonna bring out some beige key sets. We also have GMK, so if you're interested in GMK, I also have some. So here are some of the choices. I'm gonna put a poll up, probably. Uh, actually, no. One, two, three, four. Okay. How about I have enough points to do the thing twice now? I'm gonna be saving for next time. Okay. I'll do a poll. We have. Okay, so we have what beige? is the question and I'm gonna say give me one sec I'm gonna I'm gonna list I need to check what what I have in terms of ABS also um, I vote for a page <laughs> let's see 
Okay, yeah, I'm um, sure. I'll be open to do that too. So... Okay, so... Okay. Let's say we have... Um... Okay. So we have Xerox. So we have CRP Xerox 6001. We have... CRP Tulip. We have CRP Desco Black. Uh, I'm actually gonna ignore 2551. The only reason being that I actually have some photos with it already. And I kind of don't want to bother taking off the set. Um, we have GMK Greek Beige basically. Greek Beige slash 909. Um, and we also have, let me see, let's say APL. I also have APL, CRP APL. We have beige, beige, or beige. That is exactly right. Uh, what beige? All right, boom. You can vote in the chat. It's in, it's a poll in chat. Uh, if you're on mobile, you might actually not be able to see the poll. So those are the options. Oh, it looks like I have to go get my APL set. Okay. For now, I'm going to go find my APL while you guys vote. Tied. Oh, I guess I should go get my Greek page too. Okay. Is the vote over yet? Diego, how many servers are you a mod in? I'm not sure actually, I can't count. <laughs> it's a tie! Okay, tiebreaker, one minute. Oh, okay, never mind. Battleship Orion has chosen. Greek Beige has been vetoed. Vetoed by Battleship Orion. Just, just swift, swift, decisive motion to, to fulfill a vote that was tied. How, how, how dramatic. All right, let's uh, take out APL from here.
Alright. And then... What are your thoughts on the UTD356 Mini? Uh, I'm personally not very keen on it because it basically is a blatant copy of somebody else's work. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I think I personally don't approve of counterfeit products. Uh, I don't care if people argue that it's been a long time or whatever. It still belongs to somebody else and it was not. it's not being done with their express permission. Um, so personally, I'm not too happy about it. That's kind of basically what it is. Uh, do I have my R5 mods here? Hold on, I need to look for... Oh, R5, here it is. Yo, Juan, how you doing, my friend? How you doing, buddy? Alright. Oh. Right. Um... Which board? It says right above in the chat window with exclamation build if you want to know about the current board. Uh, that, that's connected to exclamation keyboard. This one is exclamation build. board is a ripoff. Uh, the UTD series of boards is pretty much a ripoff from the original OTD made boards. Um, OTD is just a forum. It's the name of a forum called On The Desk uh, in Korea. Um, and uh, there was a designer named Ungsam who made a series of boards called, it's like the 356 series as well as the, as well as some other um, boards like the, um, like the 360 Corsa and the 456 GT, but anyway, uh, basically these uh, the UTD 360 Corsa and the um, 356 Mini are actually both original designs by Mr. Ungsam, but uh, there are clones being made, essentially replicas being made of them through a Chinese vendor and manufacturer, uh, which I personally don't think is good. Um, but yeah, under the desk, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it stands for, for the new ripoff, um, you know, name. Salty Nutted, <laughs> wait, Salty Nutted, hello, welcome back. Hey, you, you came back with your, um, original. Welcome back, welcome back, oops, wrong, wrong place. Never heard of either things, no worries. Uh, so the OTD series of boards are pre pretty much considered um, collectible at this point uh, because they were, uh, they're kind of considered like the grandfather series of custom keyboards specifically. Uh, like, you know, they're not the first, but they're some of the first uh, series of like decent quality keyboards, uh, like that kind of like shaped the way that the, the 
a lot of uh, keyboards were designed in the future. Um, in um, in Korea, they were made in Korea, um, and uh, they're limited to members of that form in particular at the time. But uh, they become kind of like you know, like collectibles. Um, and so people have endeavored to make copies of them because obviously they're not very easily attainable. They can be worth up to thousands of dollars in the, in the collectible market. And so, yeah, people are making clones because they think that it's a, you know, they're good boards or whatever. And they, I assume they wanted to try it out. But personally, I think it's a ripoff and clones are no good. Yo, Juan, thanks for the tier one sub, dude. Nine months. Thank you, thank you so much. Came back with double D. <laughs> Very nice. Let's put an artisan keycap, I guess. Ooh, I have the perfect one for it. I have the perfect keycap for it. Oops. Done. Oh. All right, there we go. I've chosen the artisan keycap. Hair on Jane left blocker. Yes, hair on Jane left blocker. That's my 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 hair. <laughs> this looks so good. Holy crap, this coat is beautiful. This this beige like the cream color is like a match for the alphas. Ho -ho. Hoo -hoo -hoo. So nice. Very excited. All right, let's try it out. Every, while, every time I watch your stream, I come to a realization that I'll get every base kit of CRPR4. Oh yeah, CRPR4. Very excited for it. Okay, uh, did I miss anything in chat? Let me go back. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what coating is that? It's like some cream kind of coating. What's the sub legend? It's called APL. It's called APL. When are the CRP R4 dropping? When is the CRP round 4 dropping? Soon. Very soon. They're getting ready for it. So pretty soon. All right. So um, I need to remember that this key is currently mapped to uh, I think it's caps lock, but it's hitting win key because of my the way my thing is programmed. So actually, let me change that right now. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. I need to just uh, do a little reprogramming thing. 
Come on now. Let's see. Where are you? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, we can we can we can type on this now. Um, I'm not sure what the controls for the LEDs are, so I apologize if I don't if I can't like show you all the LED stuff because I just don't remember all the shortcuts. But uh, other than that, though, it already looks pretty good. So let's see. Open up the typing test. Let's reshape this. Okay. Is that good? <clears throat> Things like scroll lock numbers. 216. <laughs> you wish I could type that quickly. Alright. Drop, I'm assuming? No, no, no. The NA vendor is going to be Syrup Lab for Canada. And there might be a US vendor, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Oh, right, mic. Oops. Try this out. All right. All right. Pause tab, change circle LEDs. Okay. Uh, pause tab. No. Mm. Pause I. Oh, it does change the LED, but I'm actually not sure. How to pause two colors, one color. I have no idea how to control this, but whatever. We can ignore that for now. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oops. to scratchy a bit uh, I don't mind it it's kind of like pretty normal I mean I don't care I personally don't care but if y'all care then too bad for you um but yeah uh, let's 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 do the mods for a sec
sounds like a keyboard. It sure does. Sounds like a keyboard. Uh, the mods sound great. Uh, that's one thing that I have to say. The mods are sounding pretty nice. Definitely a little bit of scratch, but I think it, uh, slight a slight bit of friction could also come in due to maybe the films are slightly misaligned and the sliders hitting this film slightly. Could be that. Could be could be the PVT caps also. PVT can have some warping. So sometimes uh, the uh, the little you know corner of a stem uh, can hit the top housing very slightly. I mean, it's it could be anything really. Um, there's a lot of variation in there that could attribute to to those sounds. Um, but overall, it sounds really nice. Um, and I want to type on it again because I really like how it sounds. So let's try it again. All right, here we go. How's it feel scratch wise? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it does. It sounds. It sounds like a good rectangle though. Um. It uh. Okay. One thing I have to say. I love the texture of this coat already. Um. So you can tell. There's some roughness to the texture. Anodized, but coat. Um, pretty nice though. Good bump on, slightly misaligned. Whatever. Replaced. Replaced. But yeah, um, keycaps sound really good on it. I'm proud of the mods on this one. I really like the spacebar and the shifts and the backspace. The enter is okay. Not my best enter actually, but the rest, the mods sound crisp. Love me these mods. These mods sound really nice. Um, looks like an old school classic board made of plastic, so badass. Yeah, no, it, it looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna try to, okay. So, well, that's a look of it. Um, Buman mat, uh, I'll probably get one, yeah. I, I'm, I'm considering maybe getting two, but I'm probably gonna get one. Two because I wanted to proxy for a friend, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, this is bored. Quite the looker. Let's zoom out for a sec. And hide the typing test. Is it gone for a bit? Okay. So yeah, no, this uh, this keyboard, man. Um, shit, it's nice. <laughs> um, let's take a look at it up close. So here's here's what the board looks like up front. Um, yeah, this coat color. Wow, 
really nice, really nice coat color. Like this coating, mm-hmm, A plus, A plus with beige. Like this, this coat with beige is really, really good. Um, how does it compare to the old 2.0? Pretty much the same as far as uh, the kind of like aesthetic feel, like you know, like the low angle and the top mountedness of it is pretty similar. So in that regard, I actually think I actually like it a little bit over the 2.0 original because I think the original had a bit of um, I'm not sure if it's the plate or if it's something else, but this feels a bit more sturdy, whereas the original uh, kind of felt like the, I don't know what it was, it was like, it kind of felt like the space bar was kind of like falling flat. I don't know what it was. Maybe the mounting points were slightly different on it. I think the mounting points might have been different on it, so I think that probably attributes to why, but the space bar kind of sounded like meh when I tried it. Um, I actually like this better though. I think it's just cleaner look to um, the... The, the, the back is much cleaner. I actually like this look way more than the original 2.0. I think the original 2.0 kind of looked really um, like meh, like all the machining marks on the on the on the brass pieces and whatnot. I didn't like that at all. Uh, I thought I thought it looked super tacky and ugly, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, USB C port. The placement of it is perfect. Really, really low. And actually, what I really like about the placement of this USB port is because that there's a ledge. You see that there's a, there's a ledge here, right? So like, if you plug in the USB cable, it actually hides the USB. Like, like if, if there's some exposure of the um, of the metallic part of the port of the connector, it it hides it because there's that piece of little. There's that ledge that kind of like is sitting on, on top. And so I actually really like that. Um, it's a nice touch. Um, LED and that kind of stuff is pretty whatever to me. Like I don't really care much about the LED. I mean, it's kind of understated. It's there. Um, yeah, I mean, Matrix does, does make some boards that look kind of meh, to be honest. Uh, one thing, uh, look at that. Look at that side profile. Super clean. Look at that. R5. Mm hmm the back again uh, yeah look at look at that r5 row profile please support r5 row profile please consider r5 row profile for every key set design that you do in cherry profile because it's the best look at that mm, r112345 yeah let's go the blocker corners on the og were rounded too i like this more oh yeah 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 um they have uh they have slight chamfers uh let me actually zoom in on this the machining on this is actually really good. Look at, so that's how the corners are done. Uh, there is a slight chamfer at each corner um, and th there is a rounded edges here, but sharp corners at the blockers. Uh, there is no rubbing or anything of the keycaps, which is awesome. Um, even with PVT, uh, like even with the small, like sometimes the GMK or PVT vari uh, caps have some variation in the vertical. Like basically this part can move slightly and sometimes if the if the uh, if the block is slightly too long, or if the or if this chamfering is done incorrectly, it can rub. Um, like even because you know it like slightly tilts and then rubs. It's it's very slight. It happens on like on some boards, but it's normally a non-issue because normally you don't off press that often. But yeah, it's it's a thing. Um, yeah, no, it looks good. The the corners are nice. Like I like these rounded corners here. It looks good. It looks good. It looks nice and tight on the keycaps too. Uh, the slightly exposure of the plate is really good. Um, there's our Popsy skull in red and beige. It's actually matched to it. Uh, to the beige. Binge is a master of matching colors, that's for sure. Look at that space bar for uh, round. This is round 2.2 APL. It's perfect. Yeah, so overall looks really solid. Really solid. Yeah, so I, I like it very much. Um, this 2.0 ADD, it's, uh, it's looking real good. Slippery bump bonds. Oh yeah, slippery bump bonds too. Yeah, it slips. It's a bit slippery on the dust mat. Um, 
but this is fine I mean like it's on a death mat it's not gonna get damaged or anything unless you have like little shit on top of your death mat and gets like you know scratched or whatever but I keep my death mats pretty clean Heine wasn't allowed to sell beta in R5? What do you mean? I thought the GMK beta have uh was GMK beta was not wait GMK beta was R4? I don't remember anymore. GMK beta Oh it was R4. Oh yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, too bad about that. Um yeah, it was R4. Oh well. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. Um I can't recall correctly, but I think on mechs on deck set vendors wouldn't support it if since a lot of people aren't used to R5. Man, that sucks. <laughs> but I mean I get it. I understand what why people sort of The reason people don't aren't used to R5 is because they haven't been exposed to it much. So I it makes sense. I mean honestly I don't fault people for thinking about vendorship first. Yo, Jack Static. Thanks for the 14 months, man. I hope you're doing well. I really like the look of the beta, uh, the Japanese kit. Um, so I, I went in on it because I really like the look. I really like the inspiration for it too. That's that's with R5 and I don't like it, sorry. I mean, that's fine. It's up to you to like it or not like it. So, oh, camera freaking out. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm freaking out probably because my arms <sighs> there we go all right there um yeah so anyway pretty good though um oh we can weigh it let's actually weigh our keyboard let's weigh our keyboard It weighs four pounds and ten ounces, basically, which in non-freedom units that's two kilograms and ninety-two grams. So, two point two point one kilograms essentially, two point one kilograms fully built, or four pounds and ten ounces. Pretty good. It's all right. Light for a TKL. Actually, it's perfect weight for me. I think this this weight is totally fine. I don't think it needs to be heavier than this, to be honest. I think four pounds is pretty good. I mean, almost five pounds. So, 피곤해 죽겠음. 그래도 괜찮아. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I would pay five euros to have both rows in there. I mean, for sure, I would definitely pay more for ha to have extended compatibility. But that's not gonna happen all the time. Yeah. It's just saying most decals are heavier than that? Yeah, certainly. I mean, the, the Jane is remarkably heavier than this. Like, I think the Jane is probably like seven pounds, probably. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly, but we can double check. The Jane weighs, yeah, it weighs exactly two more pounds. So it, in kilograms, it weighs just about three kilograms. So it basically, basically weighs about an extra kilo. So, yeah, like 900 grams. So yeah, that's the main difference. Did you get a new scale? I did. Uh, I needed to get a new scale for packages because I started weighing heavier packages. I've sent some international packages out and uh, there was this one time I got screwed over um, where I probably miss, uh, miss weighed something and DHL charged me out of their ass to, to make up for it. <laughs> That was, that was an expensive thing that I had to cover. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna invest in a nicer scale for packages. So <laughs> yeah, so that's where I got it. Montage is way heavier than I imagined to be. Yeah, 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 montage is pretty heavy. Yeah. I've been weighing on a coffee scale still. Yeah, I used to do that too, but now I just have a package scale. Because also I, I, ha I need it for bigger size stuff because stuff like tilts and stuff, like for bigger packages, like anything over like 16 inches starts like Getting a bit difficult if you can't stand it on a on a on one of its faces. So yeah. All right. Um, LDCLS is three point five kilograms. Just about too heavy. 
Yeah, 3.5 kilograms is pretty heavy. <laughs> Having something in pounds and ounces is probably nice too, don't have to convert. Yeah, I mean this one, I mean most scales will have pounds and ounces and also grams. So I think that's kind of standard now. Um, so I'm just looking at who is currently streaming. I know that Alex Happy is doing a subathon, so we can go and support him actually. Uh, I've seen other people. Uh, I see like uh, Switch Doctor AU. I see, uh, oh, I see some non-keyboard streamers too. Um, but yeah, we can probably raid uh, Mr. Alex in a bit. Uh, but anyway, do, does anyone here have any other like uh, final questions? So they basically penalize you for not having the right weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you off by a lot or by a little? I think I was off by at least... Might have been like almost half a kilo, like a pound basically, or like a bit less than a pound, so I got penalized. Yeah. And it was also going for like, it was going to like, it was going to like, Asia so yeah it was a far distance and yeah I guess I don't know do you have any matrix boards I have a 1.2 OG I have a 1.2 OG for me the weirdest thing is having R5 space bars and R4 GMK sets wait Endeavor uh, Endeavor there's no R5 or R4 space bars space bars are space bars space bars don't have a road profile by the way Just FYI, space bars are always the same row profile. They're their own class, basically. Like convex keys, they're all their own like shape, so they're not gonna change. But the top edge is the same height as R five. I mean, oh, sorry. If you mean this, it's slightly higher on R5 actually. Oh, wait, trying to get it to. Yeah, spacebar sits slightly lower. Top one, not the bottom one. Top one. Oh, I see. Uh, there's not. There, there's never gonna be a change in spacebars though. Like you, like there's like zero. 0% chance or zero no not more like 0% of a reason or like no, no reason for you to even think that it's gonna change because they've been the same for like decades now like that was like yeah even r4 keys that were made by cherry slash um, and then later gmk they're always the same yeah how do you call for dhl trying to ship international it's quoting me like 160 dollars for a three pound package uh i use um you can use like providers like like there's like shippo and there's like other places basically you just need to tie yourself up with a commercial account yeah uh, try to get commercial rates um yeah you don't want to quote it individually because personal use is uh, going to be really expensive commercial rates are much better for uh private um couriers like ups fedex and dhl yep um Color matching with the space bar though. A plus the color match uh the the coat with the beige. It's really, really good. Alright. So any last minute questions? Top, oh, top three CRP sets if you had to choose. Uh top three CRP. APL is one for sure. P if I didn't have this set, Peacock for sure. APL, Peacock, and Maybe now that 2551 HAD is out, probably that one. I really like that one too. Xerox is good too, but I think I, I like the more I like the other stuff a lot. Desco is good, yeah. The regular Desco is pretty good, yeah. I mean I'm 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 really enjoying the fact that CRP has so many releases and has had so many uh like so so much different stuff. Weren't you supposed to build an Onyx? If I had an Onyx with me, I would build an Onyx, but I don't have an Onyx with me. Uh, I believe I was supposed to be sent one, sent to one, but I haven't. CRPOP, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. CRP is great. Um, all right, so I think that's all I have for tonight. So, um, so the next build, uh, I'll let me let me check my schedule slash plans. So my next build uh, is gonna be a unicorn, most likely. I'm gonna be building a indigo colored unicorn. That's the purple unicorn. Uh, it's not for my not, not for myself actually, but I'm gonna be building a purple unicorn next time. Um, so if you're interested in that, join. Come and hang out. Uh, and then we might be building a droplet TKL, I think, uh, right after that, the, the droplet that we showed earlier on stream. But yeah. Is the montage sensitive with custom cables? I recall you saying that before. No, no, no. You can use any cable for any keyboard. I pretty much use my cables for every keyboard out there, so it's fine. You'll be fine. As long as you have a USB uh, mini B type, like the not the USB C type. Yeah. Show purple TKL1? Okay, I'll show that for a bit. Here. Show this and then we can go probably. Here you go. Here you go, pseudonym. Oh, all right there. Show 1.2, okay, now I'm too lazy. I'm done. I'm done for today. <laughs> Next time. Next time we show. <sighs> Suddenly I feel tired. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you all anyway, you know, like, it's okay, I, I like it when you guys ask questions and, and stuff. Um, I'm happy to oblige to those. Okay, let's uh, go raid uh, Mr. Alex Happy. He is doing a subathon uh, this weekend. Um, so go and support him, uh, show some love. And let's see, let's raid Mr. Dance Monkey. Ha, you think I'm a, I'm not a dancing streamer. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we can go raid Alex Happy. Anyway, thank you everyone for joining in. Um, I recall the board disconnecting when you did the Faith Tool tutorial. You said it had something to do with the cable. Am I being delirious? Oh, I think it was something else. Um, I think it was because my USB hub or something. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> thank you everybody uh, for joining in. I'll be building a unicorn next time, so make sure to um, come by and join whenever the ping drops. Uh, here's our rate message for today. I'm just, we're just gonna say, um, we're just gonna say, Happy Subathon, Alex. And we're gonna put a Miago Hypers in there. We can just spam that. And well, thank you everybody. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys on the next stream and have a great night. Have a good weekend. Uh, it's getting warm out there, so um, don't get sick just because it's slightly warm. Um, and uh, take care of yourselves, okay? Thank you, everybody. Um, have a good night. See y'all.